All right, hello and welcome to the stream. Um, as always, I am your host, Leisure Llama, and also Eternity. I uh, hate to break it to you, but you were not first. Um, you were pretty close. You, you were very close, but you, you were not first uh, again. Uh, Saphir, Saphir was first. Um, <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I will award you honorary first uh, VIP, I guess. Uh, but Saphir, uh, Saphir was definitely first. But you know, you're an honorary, honorary first VIP person. Um, wait, why does this still say I'm playing City Skylines? Can you guys check for me real quick and make sure that it's it's showing the right thing? Because uh, it should be showing Beat Saber. It shouldn't be showing City Skylines. Uh, actually, I can I can look on my end here really quick too. It says City Skylines. That's not right. That's, that's not right. That's All right. <clears throat> Un momento, mi amigos. Yeah, no, I, I got it. I got it in here right. It should say Beat Saber, uh, but I'm I'm showing it as being the wrong thing. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, I'm hearing an echo on that one. Oh, there we go. It should be the right thing now. There we go. Do it loud. Yeah, that's that one's a little bit loud, but you know, uh, there's only so much you can do. Um, I could maybe adjust the volume or something, but uh, it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, so today, don't rip your ears. <laughs> Wait, don't rip ears. Oh, my bad. My beard hair is like tickling my nose. And it's kind of annoying. Alright, there we go. I think I fixed it. But that that was a little bit loud, I will say. Um let's get started on this thing. <laughs> Country Rounds is top tier. I really like the music on this one. Um, let's see if I can get through this on Expert Plus slowed down. This is one of the ones I've been struggling with, uh, and I think that I'm just going to jump right into it. Let's see. Let's see how I can do. Uh, also, I hope Mini Potatoes and Strike Bandits show up. That'd be cool. They've been showing up pretty consistently, so... Oh wait, whoops, did I get the... I got my arms mixed up. Can't keep on doing that. Well, how are your guys' days going? Anything exciting going on for you guys? Uh, I ended up getting a decent bit of sun. Um, my cousin needed help today uh, with putting in a fence at his house. Nope. So I spent all of today um, putting in a fence with a bunch of other people. Oh, damn it. Nope. Ah. Uh, 
So I'm actually already a decent bit tired. But I want to hear about how you guys are doing. Still got a lot of work to do. Turn on closed captions. Yep, closed captions is turned on. Potato has been sick. Oh no! Poor Potato. Oh cool. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you got your dick ripped off repeatedly? I mean, it wasn't that late last night. I think I ended up staying up until... What? One? I ended up staying up until one o'clock. I appreciate it, Eternity. I, I appreciate it. Wait, how early in the morning do you have to get up? Oh, oh, okay. Well, yeah, then that would that would just mean th three hours. Um, <clears throat> well, I I definitely appreciate it. I appreciate you. Uh, you sticking around for that stream. I mean, yesterday's stream I thought was pretty good. More towards the middle. Wait, what time do you work? Like, what is your shift? <coughs> I need to figure out a way to get my chat, like, up here. I saw another streamer that played Beat Saber with their chat, like, in a massive box up in front of them. Or you know what I can do? You know what I can do is I can make a new window. Hold, hold on, everybody. Hold on, everybody. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Home, spawn a new window, and then that's my desktop. But if I go into the set contents and I make it a the chat window, overlay chat. There we go. I can take this, and I can put it over here, and make it bigger. Oh, jeez. Way too big. Hold on. 
Hold on. Oh, nope. Not what I wanted. Come on. Make it smaller. Make it smaller. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. And like that. Let's see. That doesn't show up in the thing, does it? No, it doesn't. Cool. But I can see it. Maybe move it over a little bit. Right there. There we go. Should make it a little bit easier for me to keep track of my chat. So your shift starts at 4 a.m.? That's a pretty rough shift. Oh, jeez. score. Might buy and stream until they fall? Alright, I don't exactly know what you're referencing there. Just like any other shift. Only bad things is not being able to hang out with people. Yes, yes. So <laughs> when I was doing private security, 
that was one of the problems that I ran into the most was that it was basically impossible for me to do a lot of the fun things that all of my friends were doing um, because uh, we were on different schedules and it made it difficult for me to be able to schedule things on top of uncertainty with the schedule because I would just work a ton extra. A VR game where you fight the knights and stuff. Oh! Oh! Buy and stream until they fall. Okay. Uh, I haven't heard of it, but that sounds pretty cool. I mean, I really enjoy sword fighting. Uh, and one of the things I actually used to do a really, really long time ago um, was saber, which is a lot like fencing but with a, a saber, I thought it was cooler. Because you weren't just poking the person, you also had the edge of the blade, kind of. I mean, it wasn't really a blade, we didn't actually have sabers, but you could hit with the side of the blade too. Um, and you could hit the arm and the head. So it gave you a little bit more options when it came to where you were hitting people. But um, I used to do that and that was a lot of fun. And even before then, I always really liked uh, sword fighting, or at least the idea of it. Um, it'd be cool to actually be trained in how to do sword fighting. I think that once cryptocurrency takes off again, uh, I'll be able to afford to do all that stuff. That'll be fun.
sounded pretty good there. I'm getting better. How many more streams do you think you have left of um, Celeste? Oh, no, I can't move it. And it's I'm considering making that one of the games I stream at some point. Just because it looks like it's a pretty big challenge. And decently fun. Eternity, do you believe in magic? time uh, convincing the kids at work um, that I was a magician and I'm not very good at magic tricks uh, so there weren't many things that I could do to like really convince them um, that I was a magician I had them going for a little bit though better at these new songs. I think that part of the problem was just that uh, I haven't um, I haven't practiced them very much. Uh, but for those of you inside the chat, um, oh yeah, you know what? You're right. I could. In fact, let's see. None of the boxes transferred over correctly when I switched from Streamlabs OBS over to OBS Studio. So I still need to adjust those boxes, set it updates with the live, live information. Uh, my most recent follower was not killing Gat. Uh, but for those of you inside the chat, uh, let me know what your favorite animal is. I'm just curious. Uh, my two favorite animals are llamas and mantis shrimp. 
That looks really weird on my screen. Um, yeah, uh, my two favorite animals are llamas and mantis shrimp. Haven't really quite decided on which one I like more, but let me know what your favorite animal is in the comments. Buy you a VR headset. I'm not quite sure about that one. Uh, Vanna says he keeps sending messages, but none of them show up. Uh, I'm not seeing any messages from him. Is he sending them in Discord or in the stream? I'm pretty sure I'm in mod view too. Um, should show me messages and I don't have any showing up for me. Twitch, he wants to play. Okay, yeah, uh, he is definitely more than welcome to play. Mm, but that is really weird because I'm not seeing any of them. Does he see them on his end? <laughs> uh, 
I probably should. I'm not quite super familiar. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. I I'm not super familiar with the tag system. So, I think at one point I tried to add tags, but I couldn't find any tags. Um, oh, playing with viewers. Okay. Let's update that then. And I'll make sure to include that uh, in future streams. If he has a microphone, he can jump into the Discord. I'll jump over into a public channel so that he can um, jump in if he wants to. But I don't, I don't see any messages that are being blocked by a moderator or anything, so I don't know why his messages wouldn't be showing up. But I will put on a server. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. Sorry, I can't see the Discord at the moment, so I don't know who this is. Well, I take a guess. Honestly, your voice sounds like Morty. Um, hold on. Oh, Eternity. Wait, really? Your voice really sounded like Morty there. I'm not kidding. I, I do the voices. Okay, so you're doing that on purpose? Yeah. Ah, okay. Alright, makes sense. Oh, I don't think that my my stream chat is actually showing up on my, on my video. Let me switch back over to the 4x4 because I'm pretty sure it works there and I'll have to fix that at some other point. Or times 4. Not four by four. Thinking about food. Four by four is Yo, a burger. He wants to play. I don't know how you do that. I've never done multiplayer, but he said that he wants to join a uh, a lobby. Okay. Um, server code, if he's listening, uh, is H S U D Y. H S U D Y. So that's Hotel Sierra Uniform Delta. Yesterday. Oh, and then the captions are getting me H S U D Y. I got it. He's a uh, he's joining. He said. Okay. Cool. I will have you know that my middleman services cost actual money. Cost actual money? Uh, do you take Dogecoin? Uh, if it's equal to the amount at the current value that you owe me. <laughs> How much do I owe you? About like three seventy-five. Three dollars and seventy-five cents. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> three hundred and seventy-five dollars. Oh, that's 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 uh, you, you still fucking wish. I wish. Oh man, three thousand seven hundred fifty. Something like that. Something like that. So you know that bundle I sent, I showed you? Yeah. I'm looking through the games. There's a game called Thirsty Sword Lesbians. It says, Thirsty Sword Lesbians is a role-playing game for telling queer stories with friends. If you love angsty disaster lesbians with swords, you will ha you've come to the right place. Mm. Sounds so fucking bad. It's pro yeah, I mean it's definitely not marketed towards towards me. So, Are you sure? You're not a thirsty lesbian. I I am not a thirsty lesbian, believe it or not. 
the number of steps it would take I'm too lazy. The number of steps it would take to become a thirsty lesbian would just be too many. You, you, you identify as a woman, and then you decide you're gay. Okay, I guess that is relatively simple. I'm still not. I'm still not going to be a thirsty lesbian. Uh, I'll just. I'll throw that out there. Well, that's your problem. I will say that this bundle is 98% absolute horse shit. Uh-huh. Because, like, 98% of it's, like, like, Thirsty Sword Lesbians is, like, a guide on how to play, like, a tabletop game. And it has, like, all the information. It's not, like, an actual, it's not a video game. Mm. And there's also, like, a bunch of sprites and, like, asset packs and shit like that, which is, like, 98% of the pack. Uh-huh. But there are some actual real games. Okay. He says, what the hell? I can't see his Discord server. What is going on with your shit? What is happening? I ask him if his mom is using the microwave. Microwave your mom? What is that? Okay, so whenever his mom uses the microwave, his internet goes all wonky. I'm pretty sure that that was him. So just ask him if his mom is using the microwave. I mean, I'm pretty sure he can hear both of them. Oh, oh, okay. A uh, strike. Is is your mom using the microwave? What did she fucking tell you, Bob? Wait, uh, he's not at home. She's not. Home. Oh, she's not home. Oh, okay. Well, then is he using the microwave? Because he needs to turn it off so he can come play. First thing I had him do was obviously restart his PC, but it didn't you. Like it. Next, have him restart the router. If anybody else is using the internet, then that might be a problem. But see, like, it's not that he doesn't have internet though. Yep, <laughs> still. See, restart see the router. Strength. Yeah. So what it could be is is he has download, but like no upload, right? So he'd be able to hear the stream. He'd be able to listen to stuff. Messages on Twitch. That's how he's communicating with me. Oh yeah, and that's that's really weird. That's really yeah. weird. So he can send or, private messages, but he can't message the the, the chat, and he can't join in the Discord. He says, "I have internet. It's like all virtual connection to you guys just disappeared." Like, yeah, I, I don't know. It sounds weird. Very strange. Is he located in Ukraine? That's because that would question. also cause problems currently. Or Russia. Or Russia. But doubt it. No, I don't, I don't know why, but I, I assume everybody's in America. Actually, a lot of my viewers are not in America. Same. Believe it or not. Like, a good um, number of them are, uh, are in Europe. Uh, he says, eh, can't invite the Discord server. If he can see the chat, type in exclamation point Discord. Yes! Great minds think alike. He says, and no we are great minds. That Dingus should know that. Dingus probably should know that, but Dingus is, is kind of, uh, I shouldn't say that on the stream. Um, <laughs> uh, I most likely have ADHD, so makes things a little bit difficult. Found it. Awesome sauce. Alright, well, while we're. Joined, at first, I joined the chat to fuck with you, and now I just. I don't feel like typing this back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that, that helps out. It is, um, uh, I'm gonna play another warm up song while we get his internet think, situation uh, figured out. I think he just joined the. Hi. Uh, yeah, I just joined the call. Oh, there we go. Hello. 
Snap. Okay. Is your internet working again? Do I need to do I need to go back to the server? Uh my internet's been working fine. It's just weird. I don't even know how to explain it. Um uh, Yeah, I don't really know how to explain it either. It sounds kinda wonky. But the normal troubleshooting step that I would say next to go through would be to turn off your router and turn it back on again. I don't know if you can turn Llama off. Llama is on all the time. So, uh, what's the name of the server? Uh, okay, so the server code is new. Um, it's Whiskey, Charlie, Papa, November, Lima. So, W, C, P, Is that in letters? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, so if you use the first letter of all the words that I said, you'd have it, but, uh, yeah, so I, it's... I, I know that, like, since your mic is kind of, like, staticky, well, at least on my end it kind of is, uh, -huh. uh, like, it's hard to tell. Got it. Okay, so it's W, C, P, N, L. Wikipenal. Wikipenal. Alright, yeah. Uh, the P, I, I thought you said P. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's why, actually, the phonetic alphabet, uh, exists. Is so that, like, P's and T's and stuff don't get confused. Like, Papa. Well, you gotta bring phonograms into this, don't you, Lama? Every fucking conversation. Wait, what? Pho I bring phonograms into every conversation? I do? You know it. Oh, what? I no. I don't even know what a phonogram is, yeah, honestly. You say that. Excuse well, me, I, I would. I would say because I don't. I I don't know. This is this is the voice of the teenager that keeps beating your butt at beat the table. It is. Only There's a lot of teenagers that beat. Butt. What? What? All I heard was Llama's butt. Yeah, you heard it right. <laughs> you just gotta guess what came before and after. <laughs> okay, so a phonogram is a symbol representing a vocal sound. So it's not a phonogram. The phonetic alphabet it's isn't a phonogram. kind of what Llama's butt Not symbols, names, but yeah. I'm what you I wonder how long it takes people to realize that I'm just like spewing out absolute bullshit. <laughs> uh, probably not too long, but it's definitely entertaining. That's for random sure. words. <laughs> random words. Pineapple. Tuna salad. Cotton head and indie muggin. You really have to put no fail on Curtin's heart. I no. I... Despicable, Obama. So I don't, I don't have to put on no fail, but on the off chance that I do fail, it's more, it's, it's better for the viewers that I continue playing. It doesn't do anything unless I actually fail. Sure. Oh. <laughs> I agree, coward. It's just, no, it's just better for the viewers. Coward. I don't know what's going on. I am a showman. More like a failed magician. <laughs> Did you hear what I was talking about earlier? How karma is fast. I ain't much of a magician. I convinced the kids for a little bit though. Uh, maybe. I convinced some of them for a little bit.
Yeah, no, it's not very difficult at all. I just, I always put it on just in case. Wait, you saw me play... play what? Final Boss? That's... Yeah, Final Boss Gen. Uh, when I joined, it was like halfway through that zone. And I... I don't know if I sent maybe... 30 messages, and he didn't respond to me in a Alright, I need to turn down my game volume because I can hardly hear you over the music. Oh, uh huh. Oh, right, your headset, you can't hook up to the microphone. Like, it's not hooking up to a computer, is it? Actually, really yeah. easy. Yeah. All right. Should we try one of those on expert? You can do it on expert. Which one? Oh, okay. Alright, let's do it! So, like, the low BPM of this song is actually surprisingly difficult. Mm hmm Okay. I, I don't really remember it at all. So we'll see how this goes. Yeah, it was hilarious because I was just like, Llama, I've arrived, what did I miss? And you just like played too strong. Yeah, I'm sorry for uh, missing the. Uh... Jesus, I cannot do this at all. Yeah, no. No, this is too much. Um, uh, maybe if I played more than once a week, then, uh, then maybe I'd get good. I have other stuff to do, unfortunately. What a what?
Yeah. Oh, you just like didn't, didn't talk at all. I, I, I can't I can't hear anything over the uh, game sound. All right, hold on. I got it. I can't do it from from here. So give give me one moment. Uh, so if I turn down the volume on my headset, it's going to turn down your volume as well and continue to have the same problem. I need to turn down the audio in the game. The, I already have like pretty big ears. They don't really do a whole lot though for being able to hear things, unfortunately. Wow. Yeah, I know it is. What? You ripped those ears off someone else, like I told you not to, didn't you? I did. I did. I ripped the ears off of somebody else. I stole them. I stole them. All right, is the service still up, or do I need to make a new one? Oh, and you, I'll turn you up in Discord as well. There we go. Wait, so what was that? Is the server still up? Uh, no. Okay. Sorry. Speaking of servers, why didn't you join the Beat Saber server that I made? I, yeah. I put like two hours in that server, and like it means a lot to me. It's like, jeez. <laughs> okay. Wait, so I cool. didn't even, I honestly didn't even know. You Hold have on. to look in your DMs? Wow, so Not very often. Not really a whole lot of people slide into my DMs. Um, hey, but people are slide into your DMs, what you're saying. There we go. All right, I joined the server. Fucking ignore me. Oh, hold on. I can only think about one thing at a time. I'm, I'm, I'm doing. And get better at thinking about things. Jeez, mom, it's not that hard. <laughs> I'm pretty good at thinking. It's just I can't think about multiple things at once. I can only focus on one thing at a time, and even then, uh, I cannot control the thing that I focus on, which is very important. So what did you say, Trini? What was that? A van is sassy, and it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> a, a van is sassy? That's what I heard. It was a sassy van. Van is, van is, is a sassy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, a, he's a kid. How old are you again? Like, 14, 13? Wait, how old are you? Debatable. I just told you 13! Okay, yeah, yeah, so you're a kid. So I, t I totally missed you said that you were 13, but Fine. yeah, you're, you're still a kid. You're a very there. young man. Exactly. I mean, he's hardly even a teenager. Teenagers hardly are still kids, though. Alright, a uh, new server code is A E. B D P A E B D P And 13 is definitely still a kid. Pretty clear cut. Let's, uh, let's see here. Okay, this is a much more manageable volume level. What about this one? Try and see if I can do that on expert. Maybe? Probably the last, like, 30 to 45 seconds. Okay. But 
All right, let's see how this goes. The jump from hard to expert on these songs is pretty tough. Because I can yeah. pretty easily manage the hearts, uh, but... That's how you know I'm a teenager. <laughs> it's all right. It's all a, a normal process of, of growing, you know? I know some fairly old people that have voice cracking too, so... I mean, it's just more common in young people. Shut up, Lama. Why, does your voice crack? Uh, not that I know of. Okay. I haven't heard it crack. Same. <laughs> I, don't, I also don't have them a whole lot, but they can be Then again, apparently I'm a kid, so I'm pretty new to this whole maturity thing. I mean, you are, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being a kid. You should enjoy it while you can. Because after you're a kid, things become very, very different. The thing is, Mama, but thinking back to when you were a kid wasn't as enjoyable, but living through being a kid really gives me that. Yeah, no, there's, I mean, so there are some things about at least my childhood that I enjoyed. And things that were, like, important for my development and stuff, that I view now as being important. But, I mean, you're right, there are aspects of it that seem like they suck. Just enjoy being a kid, because I remember when I was growing up, I was way too mature for my age, and I didn't quite enjoy being a kid as much, and I wish that I would have. Yeah, with kids at my age, I almost feel like you can't do that. Well, we already talked about this last time I watched uh, Highlands, but... I'm I'm too much to stay out. I'm trying to be less mature. Oh well. Life complicated. Life is very complicated. Who are you? All you need to know. Don't worry about or what people think or think you should be. I wasn't able to make it through. Really? Come on. I know, it's just, just terrible. Just terrible. Honestly, now you're hurting me because I'm going to think that I'm so good and my ego's going to die. And I'm going to try to go against somebody that's way better than me and embarrass myself. How dare oh. you, Lara? <laughs> <laughs> These are not out on all digital platforms, bro. Don't be a NATO 82. Like and subscribe. This should be painfully easy for you. This should be painfully easy for you. This should be painfully easy? Okay, hold on. Let me take a swig of my special water. Really just up and down, okay? It's, it's not that hard. I mean, it has water in it. You just up and down? The only song in the game, okay? At least on expert mode. <laughs> Alright, let's let's do this thing. Let's let's see how this goes. 
I did spend 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like uh, 9 hours today putting up a fence. Wow. So I am a little bit tired. Okay. Yeah, uh, I went over to um, my cousin's house at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. And I was over there working basically all day, putting in a fence. There were a bunch of other people there too, um, but it was still a decent amount, amount of work. Nope. I already failed. <laughs> just up and down, right? Just just up and down. Yeah. I'll, it, you can't get anything you just <laughs> No, most certainly not. Like, honestly, I could do this on my first day playing. On your first day playing? Yeah, I'm just that much better. Well, no, I'm actually that bad because this song is so easy. <laughs> Why did they do that It's that easy. Everyone can do this song. Well, everyone minus one. One uh, very tired llama. One very tired but completely awesome llama. <laughs> What's that? A hour ago. So I, I was watching this uh, other streamer uh, uh, book were on. And um, there was this person, and the first username was Roblox, and there's like 11 numbers. Can you imagine uh -huh. who that could really be? And out of the blue, in the chat, they say, okay, oh, hey, I'm sorry. But I'm 11, and how can I date somebody? <laughs> okay. And I was like, oh, yep. honestly, that, 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 that's wrong. And then he got there. <laughs> oh, Lama, I want to tell you a story, but I don't know if I should tell it in front of a young man. Don't worry. Honestly, I probably have stories that might be no better. Okay, that reminds exactly. me of uh, this post I saw, and it was this like this fucking kid asking on some like yeah, like I don't know if it was like Yahoo Answers or some fucking forum, and he's like, I'm I'm X years old. When when does my foreskin grow in? Oh, no no no. When do, when does my <laughs> condom grow in? I want to have sex. Because I guess they were, I guess they were taught that like they need condoms to do sex, but they didn't teach them like what it was. And then all the answers were just like, man, I already have mine. Mike went at like age six, and just like all this stuff. <laughs> it was so freaking funny. Yeah, so you don't ask random people on the internet uh, that stuff, and that kid is gonna learn the hard way. Wait, what happened? I think he's gonna be our back. Oh, okay, okay. Because that's just, just what I do, I ignore people. Mm -hmm. That was definitely not what I was doing, but this, this is, uh, me trying to... No, really I'm just filling my arms at this point. <laughs> I, uh, 
about those nipples? About stickers? Nickers? Wait, who's Nickers? The Llama Nicks. The Llama Nicks? Oh, nipples! I said it like six fucking times. Okay, no, 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 I I just, it's it's difficult to like flail my arms around and listen and be able to speak. Hello, old man Jank. Give me shit. No. I know, I know. Cool. Alright, special hydrate just for you. Get out of here, Jake. I'm just here to make Lama drop like all the <laughs> Drunk beat saber would be really funny to see, though. He wants to see what he can get you to do while you're drunk. That's why he got No it. more tattoos. I'm not agreeing to any more tattoos. Well, I mean, that's, that's drunk right now, but what about drunk in like an hour? I'm not even drunk right now. I've had one beer. One special water. Hmm. There's a fucking game in here called Chimpology. Chimpology? And the is it for study of chimps? The description is, internet was slow because of monkeys. Not if you're gonna fucking click on it. <clears throat> Zero tolerance. Yeah, no, I actually ate a good amount of food today, so I'm probably not going to get wasted off of one or two beers. Well, you gotta drink more. Maybe I do need to drink more, but I think that the drink that I'm going to drink more of is water. I think that that's what's happening. Is Aqua. <sighs> Eternity. No, that's not happening. Oh, I see. You'll do it for them, but you won't do it for me. No, it's not that. It's, it's, I don't know if anybody wants to necessarily see you drunk Lama play Beat Saber. That's all. I will probably not stay long enough to find out. You stop fucking staying up so busy. Well, if you have to be up by 3 a.m., you're a mad lad, just like Old Man Jank. Old Man Jank staying up until 7 a.m., and then, um... He just doesn't sleep. Or he stays up until 4 a.m. and then he gets up at 7. Absolute mad lad. You're already drunk? You're planning to get to sleep in the next 5 minutes? You can't go to sleep in the next 5 minutes. Yeah, yeah, you're supposed to stay up until 4 a.m., old man. It's 1 a.m. in old man land. Mm hmm. Alright, eternity. Thanks, though. Uh, yeah. I always like having an old man in my chat. Bring some wisdom to the the un... un... uncouth? Uncouth like youth? Fuck to go to bed. He's still sick. What did you learn about today, old man? Oh, and are you still sick? Yeah. I did! Actually, I do know about the Great Umu War of the 1930s. It was in Australia. The Australian government actually sent the military in order to get rid of these rogue emu that were eating all of their crops. <laughs> and, um, and they lost. They lost. They only killed like a hundred emu. It was the most pathetic military exercise in all of history. But it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant that the emus won the Great Emu War of the 1930s.
Wait, multiple wars? <coughs> there were multiple emu wars? I only... <coughs> oh, excuse me, I only heard about one of them. <laughs> there were two more in the 40s? No way. Oh, no, I did not know about that. That's crazy. <laughs> They're actually, like, dangerous as fuck. Yeah, no, they are. And they, like, they eat people's crops and stuff. Uh, next to the high school that I went to before I moved down to the city, uh, there were these people that, that raise emus. They let them out in the town? No, they didn't let them out in the town, but they were funny to look at. Yeah, but, so, <laughs> it's not, uh, it's, it's a war for survival, right? So the army, um, the army's goal was to eliminate the emus. The emus' goal was to survive, and the emus accomplished that. That is, like, the, the brilliant part of the whole thing, is that the emus won by surviving. You're telling me the emu cock was too strong, Jim. That's all I heard. Yeah, it's just, it's, uh... <laughs> Emu cock is too strong. Wow. Special hydrate, but I'm all out of beer. Drink At least I'm all out of beer that's up here. I'm not getting drunk. So that's, that's not happening, Jank. Not for Beat Saber. I already took a swig of whiskey. I can only take so much before my, my coordination starts to go down. Yeah, that's the fun part. Neck of finger? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Neck of finger. Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna try and play this song. So, I will... Actually, I can move the chat window, though. Move it over a little bit so I can see it a little bit better. It's a measure of a drunk. Mm. Measure of a drink. One finger next to the tip of the liquid in the bottle. So like a digit? Oh, drink down one finger whip. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not doing um I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that, Jank. That is not happening. Alright, what about one finger's link? Oops. Oh, you know what? I already failed this one. I gotta restart it. Way to measure shots of shot glasses. Yeah, so I'm not gonna be drinking that much tonight, Jank. Man, if Anna's was right, you are sad. Uh, the Strike Vanis knows nothing. Oh, damn it, I'm gonna lose this. Oh, no, I'm not. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm not drunk enough. I have returned. Hey, welcome back. So I started playing another song, and I'm in the middle of it, but once I am done with it, because I wasn't sure how long you were going to be gone for.
Tamagotchi, but with a pregnant woman. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so your whole um, Tamagotchi with, but with a pregnant woman thing totally threw me off and I ended up failing that. So. That's, that's I, a description, that's what it says. <laughs> yeah, no, and it, it totally, it, it, it did throw me. It did throw me. Oh, wait. Wow. Two fingers. Girl with your pregnant Tamagotchi game. Hey, don't you? I will kink shame you. This is a Christian stream. You know what? That's one of my kinks, so good fucking luck. <laughs> kink shaming is a kink. Yeah, you're like, oh, you're fucking disgusting. I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, you're Wait, going. Get some. Okay. Right, yeah, get some quality sleep. Um, Unlike me. Uh, Alright, you know what? Just for you, Jake. Just for you, I will do a special hydrate, okay? Just because you're leaving. It better be a finger link. It's not gonna be a finger. Hold on. Let me actually see if it actually is. How about a thumbnail? A thumbnail is even longer. I said a finger's link, not a finger's width. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Two fingers. How now you're just you're asking for too much, Jay. How is your thumbnail shorter than your finger? You're talking about what fucking fingers do you have? Yeah, you're talking about your fucking Quasimodo hunchback fingers. Uh, that was about a finger. I know uh, I have some extremely fat fingers. They're right. wider than they are long. Oh, so you have like chode fingers. Mm hmm. That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, just look at how gross they are. I'd rather not. <laughs> yes, I'm like weird. Imagine that, like, at the your wrist, it just looks like evolution just like took, took its own course and turned into <laughs> a turtle. And I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a turtle. Um, okay, so I do have a code for you when you're ready. I was born ready. Okay. Uh, so the code is <clears throat> Leisure Turtle. Uh, the code is a T A O Z J. So that's Tango, Alpha, Oscar, Zulu. I don't, I, I don't, I don't need your, I, I don't need your acronyms. It is better than Leisure Nips. And those are not acronyms, that's phonetic alphabet. I don't care! Okay. Come on. What's my beat saber? Okay. <laughs> it's right. fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to teenager. Dude, why was getting like controlled with what they would call it? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Nah. <laughs> getting slapped by a five year old. Uh, a Canadian five year old. I thought that they were supposed to be nice. Wow, racist much? Canada isn't. Ca Canadian isn't a race. I don't think. Being Canadian affects the melanin in your skin, but okay. That's just like your opinion, though. <laughs> Actually, I feel like being Canadian would affect the, the melanin in your skin because Canada doesn't get a whole lot of sunlight. <laughs> and so, if you don't get a whole lot of sunlight, your body's going to adapt to have lighter skin. So, I mean, it could, over a very, very long 
Uh, <coughs> all right, hold on. What? What? Uh, we're we're looking or looking for a song. We're looking for a song. How about this one? How about no? How about yes? How about right, maybe? maybe. No. How about maybe? I disagree. Okay, no, most of the Canadians I've met have been really nice old man Jank. This is the exception. This is the exception to the rule. Ooh. Harsh. Yeah. So mean. I know, I'm just terrible. I mean, I wish I could play Beat Saber all the time, but I ain't a kid anymore, so I can't do that, you know? I mean, if I could feed myself playing Beat Saber, then that would be kind of cool. Yeah, have a good night, Jank. Thanks for hanging out. Always a pleasure to have you stopping by. Yeah, see, even the little one is saying goodbye. A little one isn't an insult. Okay, but saying even, like, even that guy's saying goodbye. I know a fun fact about, uh, Strike War. About what? My strike name? War? Yes. Oh, your lore? No. I know that you guys know that I'm not, that I live in Canada, but this lore is about how once a gym teacher called me big. Like he compared me to like I, I'm only five foot six, like jeez, and she compared me to Nathan, and I'll have you know Nathan is big, like the like, gas is boring. Wait, so you're 13 and 5 foot 6? Yeah. Okay, I mean, you still have uh, a lot of growing to do, too. So you could end up really tall. I wouldn't be surprised if I, like, more than 6 foot. I mean, Dad is like, what, 6 feet? So, oh, I win. I ended up five foot ten, and I don't think I'm gonna grow anymore. Five foot ten? Oh, that—that's rough. Oh. Eighth <laughs> grader in high school that is taller than you. I know of a couple people that are taller than me. I have a, a little There's cousin. There's an eighth grader that is like six foot three. I—I I, I don't even like what kind of weird genetic. Stuff's going on his hidden in his family, but there's something going on with his family because how it's obviously a homunculus. But you're like six foot three. I don't Mom took steroids while he was in the womb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then continued giving him steroids as he grew up. I mean yeah, you can't yeah. wean him off something like that. Yeah. Some like human growth hormone or, or pure testosterone, or, like forced Here testosterone. Here you go, Bobby. Time for your steroid milk. <laughs> <laughs> the mom was taking no, steroids in order to get it into the breast milk. No, he gave him yeah, anti so that he would, so that it would like make him grow taller or something. I don't know. Gave Wait, did you say coffee? Yes. No, it coffee stunts your growth. Oh, anti coffee. Yes, anti coffee. <laughs> okay. I wonder what the anti coffee would be. Uh. Coffee? 
Oh no. Sleep medicine? <laughs> <laughs> Herbal tea? Oh yeah, let me just drink my sleeping medicine. My fifth cup of daily sleeping medicine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yep. To grow so taller. Actually, more sleep might make you taller, though. Well, yeah, because the plates... Make you wider. Well, no, it's like this weird li liquid in your spine, and it, like, stretches out. And it, it, you would be taller. Just get one of those torture devices where it has two wheels on it, and then you just... <laughs> just stretch them out. Yeah, you yep. just do it a little bit at a time so they get used to it. Actually, that's how they make midgets taller, except without stretching people out, what they do is they break the bone, and then they stretch it a little bit, and then wait for it to start to heal, and then they stretch it a little bit more, and then wait for it to start to heal, and then they stretch it a little bit more, and it, like, that lengthens kind of them. Sense. But that does kind of make sense. But it yeah, it's just... It's just kind of brutal. I like a medical standpoint, but I don't know about morality or anything else. <laughs> I mean, it makes them uh, taller, so they would uh, want that. Good for your bone strength. I feel like they would like have complications at some point. Yeah, like it's just not everything is always proportional when they do it. I feel like a little bit would be fine, but if you did it too much, you would have like weaknesses, like weaknesses in your bones or your structure. Well, so, a uh, healed bone is actually stronger than, um, regular bone. What about the skin? Skin isn't affected when you break your bone unless the bone goes through your skin. Well, I meant that when you like stretch stretching? your bone, you're gonna start stretching the skin, too, so they're just, like, oh, yeah. elastic, elastic, and... But they do do it at, like, a very low amount. Oh wow, how did I okay. Also, physically that must not look very like natural. I don't know. From what I understand the issues that they run into are like proportionality of like the size of their toes with the length of their legs and stuff. Like cause nothing really is proportional. It probably makes it really hard for them to have, like, balance, right? Yeah. I don't know if balance would necessarily uh, be affected. Trying to put weight that wasn't meant for that size of, like, foot or toes on that. Like, you're trying to put a bigger body on feet that were meant for, like, a smaller body. So yeah, I feel like it would be... Yeah, and then also it would like it would look like they just have really short arms because well they tell you why the long arms have and if those stretch their arms out too then well I think they stretch out like the arms and the legs and all the like major yeah, bones. This torso is just gonna be abnormally small. Extend your chest. You can't extend your chest. Unless you want to break your entire Yeah, so he, he, they would run into proportion issues. That was, that was, uh, I cannot do this. But he's like, you know what? I'll, I'll just be 10 feet tall. Break spine. Yeah, wasn't well, that like I'm pretty sure they had the team in Wall of Wars where like, oh yeah, the fat and war the less bones you have, it's really productive to do that. Usually you always start with thin amount of bones and your fat just like builds up around the body and not just build up. Yeah, because like they showed that the fat people on the spaceship in Wall of they just physically have less bones than the average human and I'm like oh, that's no, not like that. If you look at like actual well, no, like, I, as a kid, I was very traumatized. I was just like, so if I become obese, I'm just like, losing bones. No, 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 no. 
Uh, if you're in space for an extended period of time, your bones will become really, really weak. No, but they showed like as they were getting fatter than their bones started to right. I was that they just happened to happen at the same time. Like throughout the generation of Wally, like during Wally, they would be losing their bones and also getting fatter because they stopped doing stuff. But the uh, the bones would be lost from being in space or not moving around at all. I don't know. Right. If you're just sitting in a chair all day, your bones are going to get weaker. And if you're up in space... They had artificial gravity, they chose not to walk. (laughs) Okay, yeah. So if they have artificial gravity, then that's not quite the same thing. No way they wouldn't walk. Walking is fine. You're going to get bed sores sitting in that damn chair all day. Dude, my butt hurts for me to sit in that chair for like a couple hours. (laughs) Same! Like, I would literally go... Some odd reason. But school chairs are just the most uncomfortable thing ever. Like, my chair at home, I can sit in it for like eight hours and Mm -hmm. feel like nothing even happened. In school chairs, I'll sit in them for three hours and then feel like I just got a sledgehammer shoved up my ass. Because they don't want you to be comfortable at school, so you pay attention. Exactly. Well, thankfully, I have a abnormally large butt. So it provides extra, extra cushioning when I sit down on anything, so I can basically sit anywhere and be fine. My ass but, is like a fucking cliff face. Unfortunately. Mama, pick a song! Okay, okay. Alright. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see. Oh yeah, and by the way, I can do uh, final boss chan on its first code with faster song. I, I don't want to flex though. <laughs> but that's exactly what you're doing. But that's exactly what you're doing, yeah. No, it, it's like when you say something extremely offensive and then you say no offense. It's like, it, it doesn't really change anything, but it makes me feel better about what I'm saying. Well, so if you preface something that you're going to say with no offense, but then that means you're gonna say something offensive. It's, it's just the way it goes. Exactly. It doesn't actually, like, but it doesn't actually it, make it better. I don't want to flex, but I'm just gonna flex. Was, well, that was his whole point that he just made. Yes. Yeah, it, 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 but no, he, so he was saying that it makes it better. It doesn't actually make no, it any no, better. No, no, he was saying exactly what he said. Oh, he did. Oh, okay. Then, yeah. I agree with yeah, you. Yeah, Lama. Then. Your opinion is wrong. But I agreed with you. So, did you just say that your opinion is wrong? If no, you think that your opinion is wrong... I would say, no, no, you were saying that your opinion is different from mine. I am saying that your opinion is wrong. So, no. Well, wait, 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 so if my opinion is the same as your opinion, and you said that my opinion is wrong, does that mean that you don't have that opinion because it would be wrong? telling it to me. It's Schrodinger's opinion. Honestly, that just sounds kind of dumb and unnecessary to me. <laughs> it's Schrodinger's opinion. Shut up, you nerd. I mean, it's okay if you don't understand things. You're, you're 13. I just said that I do understand it, and I don't like that I do. Oh, okay. Get some new ears. You think you like. Probably or something. Probably why they're so big. What do you think my intentions were? What do I think your intentions were? You have to say no homo. Because then he looks like a pedophile. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm so confused. I'm trying to concentrate here. Wait, why do I need to say no homo? It's a pedo, okay? I don't think those people understand what platonic love is. But it's not a No, well, if he says no homo, then he just loving you like a homo. Not. That's what platonic love is. It's like. Someone, like, like yeah, but you have to specify. To who? Who the fuck is going around? 
I don't know, maybe that random 11 year old that I was talking about earlier that doesn't understand how conversations work. Okay, they are 11. Not everybody matures on the same race. This is very true. Or has the same conversational skills. Also very true. I think a lot of it has to do with some, a lot of kids just aren't given the same information as others. I mean, I do feel like there's a certain age where there's like a threshold, like, you could at least be at this point. Like, at the age of maybe seven, it's like, you can't breathe really by now, but there's something wrong, you know? That's what I'm saying, like, not everybody is hot green with the thing. So I was only able to half pay attention to the conversation, but so basically, wait, wait, let me, let me see if I can get caught up. Let me see if I can get caught up. So you were talking about how people mature at different rates and conversation skills, but then I, I missed beyond that. What were you guys saying? So I think that, that uh, a lot of it depends on what information children are given and like what opportunities. Because uh -huh. he was like, at seven you should be able to read. I'm like, but not all children are taught to read. So, you know, it's just a lot of it, a lot of it's situational, I think. Right. Yeah. Which is why I kind of like, oh, right. I don't want to talk about this because it has too much brain power. <laughs> That's fair. Who wants to use their fucking brain? Well, the more you use your brain, the better it gets. Llama, let's play Beat Saber. Oh, uh, hold, uh, hold, hold yeah. your horses. Wait, expert no, plus. You hold your horses. No, you hold your horses. I was turning up Discord so I can hear you guys better over the music. Oh, well, you, like, get control of your horses and make them walk faster because you're too slow. Hey, Lama, well, you, you gotta, need to you hold. Oh. I don't even have any horses. Hello, Tor. Tor. What? Torque you drifting? Torque you? I, I no. don't know what torque you is. Shut up. It's torqued drifting. Or torque drifting. Maybe it's Tokyo drifting. Torque drifting. drifting. Thank you for following Torque you drifting. What? Get ready! Hold on, I'm gonna bring in another person. Hold your horses, good sir. Shut up and get a hold of your horses. I, I'm controlling my horses. They are all in control. You are my horses, so why don't you get control of your horses? <laughs> I am in control of my horses. All right, uh, code torque drifting is T-A-O-Z-J. I am not super good at Beat Saber, so... Unkept and dirty and disgusting. <laughs> my horses are kept just fine. I don't need any help taking care of my horses. Don't come here with your Thank western you. accent. I, I ain't trying to get, like, a western accent. I'm, I'm just talking. My ear, with my good ears, unlike you. I don't have very good ears. No, you're right. Hello, Torque Drifting. I'm assuming that this is Torque Drifting. The code is T-A-O-Z-J. Just in case that's not Torque Drifting, that's somebody yeah, else. Said it's, uh, well, we only have this boss in here. So, like, yeah. I think. Well, we only have five spots. Oh, yeah. Never mind. I did a small brain. Start the song. Hold on, I gotta make sure that this is Torque. Is this Torque? Mom Cha. 
raise if you're twerk. Like, wave. Wave your hand. Or raise your hands in the air like you just don't care. I'm twerk. Aha! Stolen identity is fun. Oh, it is. That's a lie. Identity theft is not a joke, Strike. Oh, he's in. Okay, this is it. It is when I am doing it. <laughs> okay. All right, we're ready. We're going. We're doing this. This is happening. I'm probably gonna fail, but that's okay. It took you long enough to get a hold of your horses. Hey, my horses are completely in control. You need to control. Your horse Wait, where are you? Control my your horses. You're in control. Keep your not. horses together so that they don't get out. Because they're getting all over the place, and you need to get control of your horses so that uh, Why do you the Why amusement you park doesn't run out of money from your horses being all over the place instead of being able to give the children rides. Do you hate children? Yeah. No children of this day need like horses. They all think it's lame. They Why do they not. That's an absolute real fun. You're from Canada, you don't understand. Yeah, I don't know. So that's what's wrong with Canada, then. You guys should love horses. Canada is perfect, and if you say anything else, I will hurt you. Canada is not perfect. America is perfect. Still for kitchen. Can't even do magic trick for child. <laughs> hey, you know what? I was able to convince him for a little bit that I was a magician. I made some Legos disappear. Magicians never. Did you eat them? Surrender. I did not eat them. Thankfully. Oh, Jesus, I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. What? Usually I can do that pattern, but I kind of do brain for it, and then I didn't anymore. Well, no, I was waiting for Torque, so... How about you just have, like, some faith in Torque and believe that he knows how to enter a V-Saber log, okay? Like, what? It could have been another person, but he said that he wanted to join. And so the names yeah, weren't the same. Who else could it be? It literally could be anybody. I'm broadcasting this over the internet. The World Wide Web. You know? You know that thing? Except for Russia. Russia is not a part of the World Wide Web anymore. I mean, if you search up on Google a picture of Russia on a flag or something, then technically you're still there. So the flag would be there. Yeah, but... Is the Russian flag not part of Russia? The Russian flag is part of Russia, but I mean like Russian websites. And it's on the internet, and that means that Russia is still on the internet. I meant more of like Russia didn't have access to the internet, so it wasn't considered part of the World Wide Web. <laughs> right, that's, that's the route that I was going to, was that they were kind of being cut off from the internet. Like being able to access other countries' websites and stuff. Take care of their shit over there already. Which is a uh, easy to say, but <laughs>
Oh, let's do that. Oh, wait, wait, Expert Plus. I can't do this on Expert Plus. How about Expert? That had to begin, and let's play Expert. I'm just so bad, so terrible. Just awful. Thank you for admitting it. Uh, yeah, but that's that's just the way that is, you know. Yeah, how kind of you to finally accept that you're garbage at computers. Uh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on, hold the phone. I am a halfway decent streamer, okay? Not a terrible streamer, not a great streamer. When I am halfway decent. Saber? I'm talking about Beat Saber right now. Oh, I thought you said YouTube, so. How did you get YouTube from Beat Saber? I don't know. I have I terrible hearing. You ears. Honestly, I'd be willing to donate one of mine. Really? Oh man, that would be so great. I think you'd have to donate the whole cabin though. Yeah, I'd take it. Well, I mean, technically still, the end of the year would still help, and maybe... Oh, well, the end of my ear is just fine. And just like hears everything, and it kind of just drowns the important songs, uh, the important noises out, you know? Oh, so you're saying that you need to mold his ear to go better shape. Yeah. No, my ear is is a perfect that's, shape. That's exactly what you're saying. So you're saying that you need to like draw your cavity. Or maybe he just needs to fix his brain, maybe he can... Actually, I probably do need to fix my brain. Um... Probably all of us, though. That's interesting. Okay, so I can disconnect it from the server because my connection kind of out. That's a person problem. So I, I don't know why that happened. Yeah, I don't know why that, that would have happened either. Are you able to... Reconnect? <laughs> like, is your game still up? Oh, yeah. I'll just play Freezer and Extra Plus. Just play a song on super speed, and you'll probably done before us. Plus mode with faster song and I have an SS right through. So gross. You know what? I'm proud. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the recognition that I deserve that I have not gotten from Lama. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm proud of you too. I, I think that what you do is great. Now he's just copying me. Don't don't believe him. He's just saying yeah. No, I mean I think that it's great that you're oh you're so good at at a game, especially one that requires such coordination. Mama, you think you're so you no, I mean I think that it's good. When I thank Eternity for it. It wasn't even in your mind until Eternity brought it up. No, I mean, I always thought that you were very good at Beat Saber, even better than me, that's for sure. The analogy of the ass kissing part... He couldn't convince you that he was, uh, being honest, so now he's trying to compliment. Well, no, it, it, I mean, it's true, though. That's, that's the thing, is that it's true. It, you are very good at Beat Saber. That's for sure. I'm gonna stop polluting this young man. What? Yeah. How I'm am I polluting? You're teaching him things that he shouldn't do. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait. Hold on. To your manipulation. I don't know how I would be manipulating you. That's I. I mean, I. I you genuinely just, think push. that it's really cool. Push. Push. Let me know when you're out of that song. I got a code for you. All right. I am ready for the code. Okay. 
The code is T A O Z J. Tauj. Don't say a name, please. Tango, Alpha, ah! Oscar, Zulu, Juliet. Man, did you guys see that new Fairly Odd Parents they made? No. They made a new oh. Fairly Odd Parents? Yeah, yeah, so you know like Fairly Odd Parents ended, right? Like a while ago? Yeah. So I've, I've kind of assumed. They made a new one, and like the main character is some, like, some little fucking girl, and it's with Wando and Cosmo still. And I'm like, I fucking hate this. It's not about Timmy Turner anymore. It's almost like when uh, somebody updates a game and had a read on mechanic and it's just like, why can't we just leave it as the legend that it was? It's because people can't make their own idea, so they're trying to merge off of other people's already seen something. That's every remaster, reboot, recontinuation, any of those. Yeah, this is actually kind of true. It's very, very rarely do they actually make a reboot or remaster that's better than the original. It's normally just a cash grab. And it's also why they take characters and stories and change the race of the figures. Because they can't make their own new interesting character, so they have to pander and turn one of the artists people already like into to diversify it instead of making new interesting ones for security. Yeah, they, they probably should start making new, uh, interesting characters. I mean... It, there was this fucking TV show, I think, that made Queen Elizabeth Flash, which I'm just like... Dude, like, what? Wait, made who what? Queen Elizabeth Black in, like, their, their series or something. Oh. Yeah, like, that's... Uh... <laughs> and people, and, like, shows think, like, oh, if we want to get everybody to watch, we need to make somebody that's every single different sexual orientation. We need to make somebody that's every single different race. And it's, like, not really looking to make it interesting. There's a quote that I really like, but I don't know who's coming. It's that gay is not a person. Uh, I have to agree with him on that one. Like, it's, like, that doesn't, de like, define a character entirely. Like, you have to mention, like, an actual character, it's not just that. <laughs> Which a lot of people do. Yeah. I would attempt to play Dave with you guys, but I play on like normal part, so. Well, I mean, you just got the game not too long ago, right? Yeah, I don't play it very much. And I wouldn't mind playing on the lower difficulty. Yeah, honestly, I probably use a break from all the extra plus. Alright, to be fair, I can't do it right now either, because the headset's like... It's not mine, it's like someone else's from there. It's over there. My arms are way too tired from putting in this fence. So... Like... I... I... Yeah, I, I would... Oh. Please, Eternity, save us from the hard songs! Yes, ah. please! It's in a fucking room with people. Just like, uh, open the door and if one of them wakes up, just be like, shh. Like, you know? Like, open someone's bedroom door while they're sleeping, that's... Weird. <laughs> I'd fucking be so no, pissed off no, someone did not. that to me. You just gotta walk in, grab the headset, and they'll just like... And then, and then just walk, walk out. You know? Yeah, it belongs to my nephew, actually. And he's only over here every now and then. But he's over here right now, so... You know. Get your pet. Oh, uh, I don't know. No, what, what's the 
get I really, can't. really sweaty. Even if we don't complete it, which I know none of us will, let's just get really, really sweaty. No, no, no. I'll, I'll yeah, watch you do it. I'll like, watch you do it. What you but I will play. Like, like, watching you sweaty. I will do it, but come, come on, Llama, it's just for the exercise. Like, or you can just watch me to see how surprisingly good I am at this song. Did I don't you... know why. Sure. I need a moment to drink water. Drink some more jack. Oh, it's fast. Even with no modifiers, it's fast. <clears throat> ah! I hit my ceiling. <laughs> I remember when I was playing, I fucking knocked a can of soda off of the <laughs> That was cool. Hey, Lava, look at how good I'm doing. You're doing great. I'm wow. so proud of you. That's a good compliment. Wow. Can't just like, oh, wow, you're hitting, like, almost all the notes, kind of. Oh, wow, you're <laughs> almost, like, getting all of the notes, kind of. <laughs> no, you're doing a great job, actually. You're, you're doing totally fine. I'm the Do you guys ever just, like, look over at the wall next to your face and see, like, a giant spider? No. Yeah. No, I never do. And then I just impulsively grab a notebook and do it for well, so how big is a giant spider to you, Strike Famous? Like, is it the size uh, of a quarter? diameter. Sorry, wait, say that again? Over an inch in diameter. In Canada, we do have kind of small spiders, but I mean, it's still spiders, so I'm allowed to be terrified. I fucking hate spiders. I just exactly. hate spiders. Like, I'm not scared of spiders. I just, like, I see them, I'm like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, no, spiders are one of the the things that I'm just I don't I don't do well with spiders. Hey, when I people are just like, oh no, don't kill them. It's just like, well, why did you come to my house? It, it didn't have to come into my house. It, it didn't have to intrude on my privacy. Maybe it was born in your house. Maybe it's house too. Well, so if it's a little spider. If it's a little spider, then I'll uh, I'll take it outside. But if it's a big spider, then it's dead. So. But for me, it's quite the opposite. I hate small spiders because I can't see them well. You know, just like walk under the couch and I'll just never see them again. And then when it becomes like the time for me to go to bed and I'm really sleepy, I can't go to sleep because I know that there's a spider that's gonna crawl into my mouth. And give me 15 different diseases for Mexico. <laughs> what? Okay, no, 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 no. How would a spider that's super tiny give you diseases from Mexico? How do you think mosquitoes do it? Mosquitoes are able to fly really far. Spiders don't do that. Especially tiny spiders. They don't come from Mexico. The spiders in Mexico are too big, anyways. I've only seen pictures. Uh, oh yeah, I've seen one. They're like bigger than a plate. They're massive. I saw this little video, this video of this little girl, and she was like running around with a bird eating spider. Like playing with it like it was a dog. It was absolutely crazy. I was having a mild heart attack the whole entire time. Like the spider is in venomous and she's like, that doesn't mean that it's allowed to live. Yeah, like the spider was bigger than the girl's hand. Hey, dog. And so it was like crawling around on her arm and she was like playing with it. It was just, uh. Oh, dog's in the voice box? No, he's in 
Hi, Don. Hello, Don Jovi. And this is uh, Strike Venus. Let's go, go, going. Uh, I Hello. am spectating. Spectating him and Torque drifting. Also, Mom Chan. Mom Chai. Mom Chai 83? No, the other one. Oh, Torque drifting. Wrong. No, I think that's right. No, he said twice in the chat that it was 4K, and I told you this, and he said okay. And then he kept saying it the other way. Wait, Tor K? Tor K drifting. Oh, well, that's. I want absolutely no respect to your viewers. None. None. Wow, he admits it. Oh, nice! How was it? Dunham.com. Alright. <clears throat> he's making a left turn. And he's making a left turn. What's he gonna yeah, do Dunham. next? Just Dunham was like really funny when he started, but I kind of got tired of his Let's shit. Let's go. Come on. Let's go what? Let's go where? Where are we going? I'm not going to Canada, alright? That's not happening. What, are you scared of a 13 year old? Jeez, that's pretty embarrassing. Come on. And so no, I'm not scared of a 13 year old, but I'm just not going to what? Canada. Canada is very low on the list of places that I want to go visit. It's the Ooh. head! Come on! Ouch, jeez. I'm gonna go visit Panama first. I'm gonna go visit Vietnam first. I'm gonna go visit the Philippines first. I'm gonna go visit Japan first. Um, I'm probably gonna go visit How Spain you first. All these places first. There's a second. There's a third. Like, jeez. Why need to teach you numbers? <laughs> I'm doing all those before I go to Canada, for sure. A faux shizzle. I will steal a submarine and I will go to Tokyo and I will kidnap you. <laughs> <laughs> now are you scared of a 13 year old? No, I'm not. He can't steal a submarine. Ryan. You can't. I bet you you couldn't even find a submarine. I'm researching on how to drive a submarine and I will come I will steal you. I bet you can't even find the submarine. Canada has submarines. They have like four for the whole country. But I'll find one. Good luck. A wizard John Wick style and kill everybody that defies me. You're the captain now? Yes, I am the captain now. Look at me. I'm the captain now. Wait, that's racist? Is that what you said? Wait, no, that's from a movie. It, wait, it's racist now to quote lines from a movie? Yeah, Lama, you're not black. You can't say black coat, uh, quotes. I feel like that that's a little bit of a Have silly Have you ever heard a white person say a Martin Luther King quote? Exactly. Because but you can't I... do that. Racist. I... <laughs> what? Man, Llama, one of the tabletop games in this pack is fucking about Martin Luther King, I think he said. So much weird stuff in this game pack. So much weird stuff. I did not look through the game pack when I purchased it. There's enough actual decent games in there to be worth far more than $10. There's a lot. It's pretty straight up. Trash. But it's also Wait, for you. What are you guys talking about? Oh, there so there was a game pack. Oh, you explain it. I'm, I'm busy trying to fail with this. I mean, I was, and then you started after me. You started talking over me. Yeah, I'm sorry for mansplaining over you. You were respectful to the people uh, that... I, I don't know. No, there was a... I think it's already over. Actually, I know it is. But there was a, a bundle on itch.io for supporting Ukraine, and it was ten dollars for nine hundred and ninety-three games, nine hundred ninety-three items. Oh, wow. 
and there was a, like a lot of more games, and there was like a and all kinds of shit. Well, like, you like, can Jackbox. Oh, Jackbox right. is fun. I bought Celeste, or I got Celeste in that pack, which is sold for $15. I got the whole pack for $10, so even just that game, it's worth it. Am I still quiet, Don? Does anyone else think I'm quiet? I mean, you're pretty quiet. I have you bumped up to 170%, oh, and you're still I pretty can... quiet. I can hear you perfectly fine. I don't know wow, maybe you need to get better ears! No, Don couldn't hear him. It's not just me, it was Don. Yeah, well, maybe I'll... Don can get better ears, too. I'll point the mic more towards my mouth, so it should be a bit better. Okay. Maybe your mic is just really bad. Maybe somehow my phone audio quality is better than your microphone. Not possible, but good one. <laughs> <laughs> What's an air defending llama? Wow. Okay, I guess I have no friends in the Were you not talking about my mic? No, I was talking about his mic. Uh, sorry, I was talking to someone else and only half paying attention. Just the redact that is good. Wait, 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 who's Mike? I'm confused. You thought he was talking about my mic too, right? I thought he was, I thought he was talking about your mic. Like, his phone speaker's better than your mic. Microphone. That's what I thought. No, I'm talking about your guys' microphone. What do you mean, you guys? I actually don't know how good the microphone and, and the Don index is. And Robert, they're the only people that have any trouble hearing it. You mean their speakers? <laughs> if their microphone doesn't have anything to do with hearing me. I mean headset, it's the same dang thing. It's no, that is definitely not the same dang thing. There, those are components on it. Very, very different things. Oh man, this is so tiring. I'm so... <laughs> well, now you know what I said, and now we can forget that this entire complication ever happened. That you don't know the difference between a microphone and a headset? I'm definitely not going to forget that. That is going in the memory bank forever. You can stop talking about it now. <laughs> ears aren't on sale right now. So Strike Vanis is actually uh, considering donating his ears. So maybe yeah. you should just ask him to That's donate his ears. Because apparently Lama's going deaf. Uh, potentially. I can't... I, I couldn't hear them at all. I had to turn down the game volume quite a bit. And they're still pretty quiet to me. Maybe you've been listening to too much of that metal. Yeah, probably. Hey, Stacy. How are you doing tonight, Stacy? Hello, Stacy. Welcome hello to the stream. Please never say hello like that ever again. Also, hello. Oh, I touched Shut my up, ceiling fan. Please. He's just trying to one up me. He's jealous. Wait, who's jealous? You haven't been paying attention. Why would I tell you? Yeah. Wait, was it me? Uh, no, I was just saying hello to Stacy because I'm excited that Stacy's here. And I said it. Hello! Hello, Stacy! So the kid, the kid is Strike Vanis. He is the child. <laughs> the child. The child. <laughs> eat the child. I'd prefer if you didn't eat me. I don't like being eaten. Very unfun. You, have you been yeah. eaten? It depends on the context. I feel like getting eaten would be fun, but if it's only a, like intentional eating, I not like somebody else thing. eating you. It's like if, you, if you haven't been eaten, how do you know you don't like? You? This is true. No, but seriously, yeah, he is a kid. He's like four years old. I'm 13, okay? He's seven. I'm not even old enough to be on Twitch. He's seven. He's, he's seven years old. 
<laughs> I don't even. Well, I'm not, but I don't even want to argue with you. Oh no! Oh, we lost Tor K. We lost Tor K. Well, saying that I'm seven can get me banned, right? Since apparently uh, my book is. Said that he bored you, or that you bored him, so he left. Oh. What wow. the hell, okay. Long? All oh, right, Tor K. Well. It was nice having you here. Uh, I am not super good at Beat Saber, um, but I will get better. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, thank you for stopping by. Um, I would be happy to have you hang out and chat if you wanted to. I would but. entertain you, Torque, but um, today's really just not the day, you know? The, the arms are kind of hurting. So, My arms are kind of yeah. hurt, but we should probably pick a different song, one that I can, one that I can actually do. Um, let's see here. This one might be a little bit of a challenge for you, but I think you might be able to do it. I'm not, I'm not sure though. Uh, I really don't know. <laughs> let's let's just find out. Yeah. Wait, no, 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 no we need to make a score. Oh my god, this is gonna be so hard. No, I know that we're gonna have a rough time here, but we just need to stick through this. We'll get through it together, okay? We got this, we got this. <laughs> I, I am having such a hard time. No! Oh, man. So oh difficult. God, so embarrassing. Everybody's gonna know me as the Beat Saber failure, loser llama. Sad. Wait, everybody's gonna know you as the Beat Saber failure, le loser llama? No, 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 no. Everybody's gonna know you for being awesome at Beat Saber. Actually, I am not very good. Thank you, llama, for finally complimenting me without being asked. No, well, maybe Llama can change for the good. Maybe. maybe Llama can change for the good. I mean, Llama is God, so, you know. A very, a very intense maybe, but still a maybe, still, still a maybe nonetheless. Very skeptical maybe. No, Llama is God and created the Earth in his image. So the Earth is actually shaped like a Llama. It's not a sphere. I don't believe in religion. I don't believe it is. Well then, you I should think. join my cult. That's what we're doing. The cult of the llama. He has the round earthers, and now he's the llama earthers. So there actually is a movement of people that want to claim that uh, the earth is shaped like a dinosaur? Yeah, but that's just like this church of the fine spaghetti monster. It's just a fucking deal. <laughs> Did you know that you can wear a colander in your DMV photo? Because it's yeah. recognized as a religious headdress of the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. I heard about it in one. That's what made it popular. Some guy wanted to do it, and they're like, no, no. And he went to court, and they're like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a religious headdress. Oh, whoops. Oh, we tired out Tor K's drifting. Tor K drifting's arms. And he's still hanging out in the chat. Llama, that I'm what was that? You're gonna have to wear a colander on stream? I don't think you know him, but uh, there's another streamer that I know called Standard Ferret. Uh huh. And I have a, yeah. I have a, like, a really expensive machine for 30k to make me buy a new hat for streaming. Uh huh. And he's like, I wanna make you a Postafarian. <laughs> yes! He I'm should like, do many, that. I'm like, how many points do you have? He's like, I'm not telling you. <laughs> oh, hello, Hottie Bobcat. Welcome back to the stream. Uh, oh, code? I'll be right back. Okay, sounds good. Um, the code is T A O Z J. So that was Tango Alpha Oscar Zulu Juliet. Maybe I need to start streaming Beat Saber. I guess this is how you get all the fucking people. 
Hello again, Honey Bob Cat. This actually is how I get a decent number of people. It's just by playing Beat Saber with with uh, people on the internet. It's it, and it's fun too. Although Honey Bob Cat is way better at Beat Saber than me, and I I, he's get, as I good as Strike Bandits. I have to get a bit better at playing the game first. <laughs> I mean, before you start playing with randoms, maybe, but, like, a lot of what I do now, especially when I get people like Hottie Bobcat in, uh, is I just, I just, um, spectate. So then I can watch them play, um, without having to, like, wave my arms around frantically and tire myself out for, for, uh, for no reason. Yeah, sure, show them, although, um, Strike Vanis... E J B L G M V R. Um, his other name is is Strike Vanis. He's A F K. I don't know if I can. Uh, maybe I should boot him. He said he was gonna be right back. I'll give him one minute. Oh man, I looked at my wrist, in order to check the time, and I actually have the time here. It's that's that's amazing. AC and I keep talking about playing B Saber together, but we never fucking. We never follow through with it. Alright, I'm just gonna kick him. I'm just gonna yeah. kick him. Uh, from from the, the thing. And then I'll spectate this. There we go. Hey, I like your uh, avatar, Bobcat. It's way cooler than Llama's. Wait, do you even know what my avatar looks like? No, but I just assume. I mean, it could it could be cooler than mine. Oh. I'm like, Mama needs to go to bed. <laughs> no, I just taken off taken off my headset. I'm gonna drink a little bit more water. Was that not a yawn I heard? No, it wasn't a yawn. Oh, but my controllers are running low on battery. This is not good. Right. Controllers a little bit of juice while he's doing this. You know that song where Jack Black goes, "Go suck a dick, suck a motherfucking dick." Uh, I don't remember that line, but I would post it in Discord, but you can't really listen to it. I'm sure you probably. Yeah, pro no, it would get me copyright striked. Uh, just, just, just six seconds. Let's, let's, I think it's three seconds too long. I think I'm gonna put that part as like a sound redeem. So it is only like three seconds. Okay. Cool. And I sent you a limit. He's like, I really like it. Like some people might not. I'm like, yeah, I was thinking about that. <laughs> yeah, but whatever. Yeah, does it did Owen Don talking to you about uh until they fall? Uh it was after the fall. I think. Uh after the fall is like a snow zombie apocalypse game. Oh, I thought he was talking about the VR one I it's also a VR game. I I think it was called After the Fall. I fucking 45 years 
until you fall. It's on sale for 40% off, $15 right now. I don't know if that's you would like bad. it, but I don't know if you would like it, but it is a, uh, another VR game to play. And it has overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. Okay. Which is, it has 2,290 reviews, so that's really good. Alright, wow, very good, Hotty Bobcat. I'm proud of you, Bobcat. I always knew you had a baby. He's probably, what was it, one of the top 200 people in the world for this game? He's really good. He has a reason to be a Hotty Bobcat. Wait, why do I keep on hearing that sound? Do you keep taking screenshots? I didn't mean to. I don't know what I did to cause it to do that. It keeps saying screenshot taken on screen. Oh, great. I don't know what button I pushed. That's funny. Um, I wonder how much longer I have for my controllers. My controllers might actually determine uh, how long I'm able to play for. This game, pretty much the only bad reviews I see are that people just didn't like it. Uh-huh. There's no, like, there's X wrong with the game. There's like, I didn't like it. I didn't like the combat. Hmm. <laughs> you know. Well, do you want to do Ghost Hottie Bobcat? While we wait for, uh, Strike Vanus to come back? <sighs> no yawning. You're not my <sighs> fucking dad. I hope. Uh, probably not. Because what I would have had to have conceived you at one. What is it? How how old are you again? When is your birthday? What month? Uh, October. Oh yeah, so you would have uh, had to conceive me while you were in the room. I don't know if that's possible. I, I don't think that that's possible. I don't think you can produce sperm cells that young, but... Yeah, I don't think no. so. <laughs> Alright. Hotty Bobcat, though, he is going to... Hotty Bobcat, ghost. though, he can produce all of the sperm cells that he wants on command. <laughs> all of them. Every single one is actually his. Every, every one is what? Oh, I can't hear sure. anything while this is going on. There we Try and get my controllers a little bit more juice. Damn.
Oh, Eternity. Um, have you ever seen Sword Art Online? I don't know why, but I had you on a different tab, and my hand was down my pants, and you said my name and scared the shit out of me. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know if I want to know what other tab you were on and why your hand was down your pants. I uh, honestly don't even answer that question. Sorry, what, were you, what was your actual question? Um, so, so my question was, uh, have you ever seen Sword Art Online? Uh, first one was good. The gun game was alright. The other one that wasn't about Jericho in the gun one was fucking awful. Alicization was pretty alright. Wait, 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 wait. There was one that wasn't about Kirito? Good up. Yeah, so like they did the, the they did the gun one, right? Right. And then there was one in like the gun one, like about the same gun one. Not about him, it was like about some girl or something. I didn't watch it, it was awful. Oh. Right, I didn't know that one. that one existed. But it was awful I knew that it wasn't about him, so I didn't. Uh-huh. Okay. I was just curious if you would ever get into a VR game like that, with the nerd gear. Yeah, why not? Hotty Bobcat looks frustrated with his performance. Oh, he just like dislocated his hands or dangling. Everybody's hands are dangling. Not good with the vibros today? I don't know what, what that means, but I thought that you did fine. Oh, I took another screenshot for some reason. Oh, this one on hard, I can do that. Watch your character. What am I watching? I, 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 it looks fine to me. Like, you just kind of went like, went like that, right? Okay. I... This is what I mean? Oh, man. Notes coming really fast, one after the other. Let me try moving this up here. Let's see how that goes. You might be having controller issues. All right, wave at me if you're ready. Okay, awesome. Let's do this thing. 
Let's do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Eternity, would you ever become a cyborg if it became possible? Sure, why not? As long as it was not like shit. <laughs> well, what what would that be for you? Like as long as it worked correctly and wasn't like, oh, you put a fucking toaster in your leg. You want a fucking toaster in your leg? <laughs> Do you want a toaster in your leg? <laughs> but you can have toast whenever you wanted. Alright, so what would it need to give you in order for you to do it? Like a toaster on the leg is no good. What would be a good modification? Like a good upgrade. So your mind in a robot, but like, uh, like if you look at, for example, Darth Vader's body, his body was pretty, pretty bad, right? And that's that's sci-fi futuristic stuff, you know. So like, if you were to go into a Darth Vader body, would that be acceptable to you? Right. I'm talking about like a fully functional humanoid robot that can do anything a human can do. So anything that a human can do basically is the line for you. Within reason, you know what I mean. So like if this cyborg body could do everything that you can do right now, would you do it? Okay. Like, actually, like, why not? Uh, I, I don't necessarily know why not. It's, it's a hypothetical. I mean, there would obviously be ups and downs for, uh... Like what? Well, for example, you might have to repair your body. If something goes wrong, like you don't have the natural ability to heal, probably. No, you, you fuck up your arm, you should get a new arm. Right. The brain is stored in the cloud. But if oh, your you body, want your brain stored in the cloud? If your body ever gets destroyed, it just downloads into a new body. Ah. Have you ever seen, um,. Oh god, what what was it called? Um, Altered Carbon. No, I don't know what that is. Okay, Altered Carbon is a really, really cool sci-fi show. Uh, where basically... Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it, uh, it, it was on... It's probably still on Netflix. Um, but basically, uh you download your consciousness into like this little chip and the chip is is you and then you can move around from body to body whichever body you feel like or if you make more money you can get like an upgraded body um and uh if if you have a lot of money then you can do a bunch of bodies like you can have a whole entire sort of like facility full of bodies that every single time you die your consciousness just gets re-downloaded into the new body uh, it was a really, really cool, really cool show. They, they called them sleeves, like uh, your body was just a sleeve and you could change them out whenever you wanted to. Um, I thought the first season was really, really good. Sounds interesting. And there were like people that didn't want to do it. 
so you had like a fairly large contingent of people that just didn't want to uh, um, have their consciousness downloaded into a chip, basically. But I, I thought it was a really well-made show. If you're interested in that kind of topic, uh, totally worth watching. I have a hard time watching movies or TV anymore. Uh-huh. They just don't seem to hold my interest. Like stuff used to. Wait, like what too? Like TV and movies don't hold my interest like they used, like they used to. Yeah, no, they they definitely don't really hold uh, my interest as well. Um, but there are some shows that I just I really really uh, really like, like um, Attack on Titan. I just love Attack on Titan. Okay, I guess I don't consider. I guess anime is technically TV. I guess I'm more meant like American, like non, non, just anything that's not anime. Because I watch anime. That's about like the only quote unquote TV that I watch. Oh okay. No, anime is, uh, or at least it can be very cool. There, there, you know, it's it's it can be pretty hit or miss as well. Um, like I used to watch One Piece. When I was in high school. Dude, I've watched like fucking like 800 or something of them One Piece over the years. Okay. Yeah, I only made it about 200 or so episodes in. Um, before I just stopped, stopped watching it. And then I got my dad watching the show. And then he watched the whole entire thing. Like he's literally caught up with the most recent episodes. It's like th uh, over a thousand episodes. Yeah, every uh, every like once in a blue moon, I'll get so extremely bored and like, start like, watching it. But it's, it's, it's really extremely repetitive. Like, they go to a new area, they get their asses kicked, they get stronger, they win, they piss off a guy, they go to a new area, they get their asses kicked, they get stronger, they win. They go to a new area. <laughs> uh huh. You know, and it's like a thousand episodes of that. At least Naruto finally ended. Holy shit! How long did that show go for? It went for quite a while, right? There's two different ones. There's a. There was Shippuden, and then, or there was the, the first one, and then Shippuden. I don't know how much they were. I didn't watch all of them. But now they have fucking Boruto, which is Naruto's kid. Right. Well, because they have to keep the, the cash cow coming. Um, and I haven't even deigned to watch an episode of that. It looks fucking awful. <laughs> Yeah, I never really watched the original. I'm just gonna watch this one. I never really watched the the original of the show, so I didn't really feel like watching the new one when it came out. Uh, the original one was like alright, so, uh, but Shippuden was it was a lot better. Like, he actually got, like, more powerful and, like, gained abilities and wasn't, like, a little piece of shit anymore. <laughs> uh-huh. Because in the first one, he just, like, gets his ass kicked over and over again. And then the second one, he, like, kicks people's asses over and over again. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, it's pretty good that, uh... That he was able to actually improve, though, because, I mean, I don't know, one of the things about the way that the, the Japanese do the hero journey is pretty good. Like, the way that the main character basically continuously tries to get better. 
is something that can be... Maybe more inspiring? Compared to a lot of more Western style of storytelling. But I think that shows like... Um, I don't know if you've ever seen Black Mirror. But Black Mirror is really good. Um, and... Uh, Altered Carbon was really good, and there were a couple other shows I thought were were above above average, but they were good. And actually, um, a kids show that still I still think is really really good uh, was Avatar: Last Airbender. I don't know if you've ever seen that. Yeah, that's a great show. I. I think that uh, the Legend of Korra wasn't as good, but it was pretty good too. Yeah, I I, I definitely share that that sentiment. I thought that it was good. It was a good show, but it, it just it didn't it didn't do as well as um, as Avatar: Last Airbender did. I'm trying to think of other shows off the top of my head that I thought were exceptionally good, but I, I can't really think of any off the top of my head. Did you watch uh, The Dragon Prince? No, I don't think I did. Oh, uh, it was made by the same people who made Avatar, but it was oh. vastly okay. inferior. Oh, inferior? Okay. It wasn't nearly, it was nowhere near. I've heard a couple of people recommend that I watch it because um, it's made by the same people, and uh, and they said that it was pretty good. So I was considering it's watching not, it. It's not like really bad or anything. It's just not anywhere near as good as that. Like no show is like no show is nearly as good as fucking Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> It was a very, very good show, and I, I think part of why I like the show so much is because of nostalgia. Um, so I don't know if I would necessarily have the same uh, response to a sh similar show release um, in the same way, just because it, it doesn't have the, the impact on my childhood the way that Avatar Last Airbender did. I just think that they don't really put out shows of that quality very often. Mm -hmm. Do they put out shit like, I don't know if you know all these like, stupid ass cartoons, but like Loud Mouth or like Loud House, and, like all this stupid like hee hee ha ha bullshit. And they don't put out like good stuff that has like a really good story with comedy, with action, with morality, uh -huh. and all this other stuff that Avatar Last Airbender had. They just want to focus on mainly humor, I think. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, I haven't really watched a whole lot of the newer, newer cartoons, so I don't, I don't know. Um, but there were a lot of like silly shows that came out when I was a child, as well. That's that's where I think that that trend towards that was starting, but. Uh, like Teen Titans. Teen Titans was actually uh, a really good show. Dude, the original Teen Titans was one of the best cartoon fucking cartoons ever made. It was really good. And then the new one is fucking awful. They just ruined it. They ruined everything about it. I, I've only seen a little bit of it. Uh, but I feel like they didn't do as well with it. Uh, I mean, I, I know that they didn't do as is, well with it. The new one is no story. Uh, it's just made for like small children. It's like hee hee ha ha, poop fart, ha ha. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just like how, like, T Tans had like really good story and all the other stuff that Avatar Last Airbender had, which the new one has 
Absolutely not. Also, did I hear Strike? Is Strike back? Yes. No, okay. Welcome back, Strike. Titans. <laughs> no, I mean, Teen Titans is also, like, a, it was a really good, really good uh, cartoon. Strike, did you watch Teen Titans? He's too young for that. It wasn't on TV when he was a kid. It, I mean, he's still a kid. Like, it, it's, it's, it wasn't on TV. That has nothing to do with my question. Like... I watched the new one, but I have not watched like the old one that I assume you guys are talking about. You should watch the old yep. one. It's actually a really good show. There's a movie yeah, like too. I watched the new one, and I always thought it was kind of like, eh, it was okay, yeah, but uh, not one of my favorites. The old one is nothing like the new one. Like, no, nothing watched, at all. Have you watched like Avatar: The Last Airbender? Uh, yeah, I watched a little bit. But I would say it's not much. like that level of a good show, not like the new stupid T9, which is terrible. Yeah. Patterns on that song were horrifying. Yeah, the patterns on that song are pretty, pretty rough. Yeah, the patterns on Angel Voices, I swear to God, it's almost as bad as uh, Ragabomb. What? Well, Ragabombs a paid OST song, so you guys wouldn't know the patterns on it, but it's bad. Um, like, I can't even get 30 seconds into that song because the patterns are so. First of all, it's not called Ragabomb. It's not good. It's so bad. The swings, <laughs> they're so long. They're hurtful. I buy myself a VR headset. Uh, if you donate plasma a couple times, you might be able to afford one. If I fucking do what? Donate plasma. Oh, okay. Okay, so, uh, stay with me here. I thought that due to who you are, plasma was a new cryptocurrency I hadn't heard of. <laughs> but, you know, like, oh, I'm man. not... I'm not even joking, that's 100%. It took me a minute to understand. I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Honestly, no, no, for, the couple, for seconds, I also thought that you were talking about a cryptocurrency, and I'm just like, huh, that's, that's, that's a that's new all one. That's about, is cryptocurrency. So I'm like, because <laughs> you said nitrogen, I'm like, the gas? <laughs> uh, helium. Helium is the cryptocurrency. I, I mine helium. helium. I found it a few seconds ago. Oh, you found a nitrogen? It's worth about pubic hair each. Imagine nitrogen. Imagine you could actually like have nitrogen as a currency, just like run like outside and just like grab a couple dollars from the air. Have you? Well, you probably haven't strike, but uh, llama fourth element. I think it was called. Have you seen it? I don't think fifth so. element. I don't, I don't uh, think so. I'm getting close into. Uh, I'll probably be learning about the periodic table soon, but not quite yet. I've had a sneak peek about it, so I kind of know how it works, but I've I'm nowhere close to memorizing the elements. <laughs> Wait, are you, is this a reference to the fifth element? I don't think uh, that he's talking about the periodic table when he's talking about the no, fifth element. No, no, it was it's a movie with Arnold. I think it's with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was I not to gonna put grapes in my microwave, Hobby Bob Don't worry about music. it. It's it's on Mars, and they live in like domes, and it made me think of like selling oxygen as like a currency. Because like all the poor people lived in like the shit domes that like were leaking, so they were mutants. And all the rich people lived in like the good domes that were sealed tightly, and they were fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, but, but here's the real question. If all the poor people are dead, then there can't be rich people, because everybody has a large amount of money. There you go. Hot twist. Brain time. That's fair. But they're not dead, they're just mutants. They're just mutants, yeah. So that, that kind of like throws Well, then can you technically call theory. them humans anymore? I never called them humans in the first place. Big brain time, here we go. <laughs> I would call them a 
type of human, I guess. <laughs> like, all right, hold on. I just received a poem. I'm getting word. I received a poem, and I'm going to tell it all to you. Roses are red. I own a cat. 450-pound man arrested for hiding weed, um, weed under rules of fat. I actually remember that happening. <laughs> oh, it actually happened? Yeah. Interesting. I'm sure it's happened more than once. Like, people do all kinds of weird, crazy shit at, like, borders. I didn't know that you could use your organs for storage. I guess technically you can. It's an organ, so, yeah. It's an external organ. Yeah. <laughs> Other organs, one. too, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> yeah, 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 please give us more poems, Howdy Bobcat. I want to hear more. Uh, also, Strike, um, do you need the code? Oh, no. I, I think I'm done for the night. Okay. The, the arms just good. don't feel good because I've been playing like all week. Oh, man. Yeah, I feel ya. Obviously, you you wouldn't know what that feels like if you play once a week. Like, jeez. Yeah, but I do other stuff throughout the week. It's, it's a whole entire reason that I can play Galaxy Collab. 325 so pounds. Just so that you can suffer. Play Galaxy Collapse on normal mode. Just so you suffer. The no, I, I don't think that I will. I think that I'm going to play Dancing oh, on the Moon. Do? I actually it's really like Dancing fun. on the Moon. It's a, it's a nice song. But it's such an easy song. It's too easy. Only six, only 726 notes? Like, oh my gosh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have just received word. I have another poem for you guys. I don't know. All right, I'm going to say it anyways. <clears throat> Roses are red. Girls are from Venus. We need to talk about Voldemort's penis. There you go. You really though? We have to. You think it has I don't two know little flips like his nose? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> oh damn it! I'm dying. <laughs> This then is what's potentially the case true. For what is the case for Squidward, Honey Bob Cat? Yeah, Squidward must be packing. <laughs> <laughs> I now own a VR game without owning an actual VR headset. That's where I'm at. I feel like that's well, a problem. See, that's impossible. I bought that game on sale <laughs> for when I get a headset. Or can you? Oh, uh, okay. That makes sense. Also, Llama, you need to get more accuracy on your swings. Like, jeez. You're getting, like, 70s. That's horrible. It is? Yes! You're supposed to be giving over 100 points per note. But you're only getting, like, 70 to 80. That, that's, like, really, really bad. Does that like the speed and how far you swing it before you hit the note also make the numbers go up? Uh, yes. How your score is affected, um, is your free swooping, which I think has to be 60 degrees, and then your, I forget the exact name, but, you know, the swing after you get the note also has to be 90 degrees. So you need to make a 150 degree swing to get maximum points. Also, uh, your swing length just gets you 100 points, and then you can get an extra 15 points for how close you hit it to the center of the arrow on the note. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, that was really simple. So, yeah. Yes, so <laughs> you can get a maximum of 115 points, and only your llama's getting like 70, which is... And now, see, he's getting like over 100 on most of the notes. Hey man, whenever I play Beat Saber, as long as I beat the level, I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, I mean, when you're new to the game, that's 
too many be focusing on accuracy because you don't care about scores, but yeah. Later in the game, when you start worrying about score and not actually playing for levels because you can play most of them, then pretty important information. I mean, that is very useful information. Roses are red, violets are blue, and I have a white pen and candy waiting for you. We have Warbler's Originals. Because if you don't, then... Yeah, I I'm sorry, but your fan game is kind of... kind of lacking. <laughs> he's, he's judging you on your candy selection in your van. No, no, I just have this, uh, this tub, this clear circular tub, and I have a printout of a picture of a bunch of candy that I tape to the outside of it. And I look at all this candy, and I jiggle it around, and it's just like a bunch of, like, garbage inside. But then you see that it looks like candy, and it fools the stupid kids. <laughs> Are you talking about your van? That's how I would do it if I were to do it. Oh, 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 okay. Like, aha, you have been bamboozled! And then well, you just, like, yeet oh. them into the back of the van. I have a truck. I would eat them in the back of the truck and they would just climb out. <laughs> yeah, see? Eternity is a good magician. He knows how to fool a couple <laughs> people. I lie to people all day, what do you mean? If I told people the truth, they fucking fire me. Because you're a furry? Yeah, that too. Okay. So what's your uh, what's your animal? What's your first summon of llama? Is it a llama? I assume. I guess. So I don't have a fursona. That's not. Oh, that's not what do you mean you don't have a fursona? I don't have a fursona. Actually, I kind of have like a skin sona, kind of. I mean, just look at my Discord profile picture. It's basically it. Let me see. Hold on. Oh, the the cynical man. Yes. I dig it. What song you looking at there, uh, Llama? You give love a bad name. Although one of my favorites is Enormous Penis. <laughs> llama, do you listen yeah. to Ailstorm, perchance? I don't. Okay, but I would be open to listening to them. It's, uh, it's like pirate rock. They have a song I would called... be open to listening to them. They have a song called Fucked With An Anchor. Okay, that's that's. I don't know if I'd be interested in listening to them. It's it, it's actually pretty good. It's <laughs> Roses, Roses are, are red. red. Oh, you. go ahead. No, you. It's okay. your stream. <laughs> it is my stream. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Faces like yours belong in the zoo. Don't worry, I'll be there too. Not in the cage, but laughing at you. Alright, you're just picking up old fucking things I've heard a long time ago when I was like a kid now. Oh, oh, uh, um, dude, I don't think I have it anymore, but I used to have these uh, poems that I did for school, and I remember one of them was how a city had to defeat Godzilla with a bunch of lotion because his skin was so bad. <laughs> I should have framed that. that. That thing was a national treasure for the short time that it existed. You should have held on to it. Yeah, but then when I went to grade 8, it kind of disappeared, you know? It kind of disappeared? Yeah. I also made a poem about my horrific, uh, I take a look at my uh, enormous penis sleep schedule, and if I remember correctly, one of the lines was like, I, take a look at my I have no hope, I can't, like, get help from even the Pope or something, I don't know. I was a ge I poetic a genius in uh -huh. grade 7. Yeah. Was that a cry for help? No, that was me saying, I'm hopeless, I can't even get help from the Pope, you know? Yeah, was that a cry for help? No, that was the cry saying, hey, I can't get help, because I'm that, my, my sleep schedule is that bad. Are you even listening? 
Seriously, how bad do your ears I'm be? trying to listen and also play. You have to bear with me a little bit. That right? song has like three notes per second, okay? It, it, it does, but still. Hold on, I, I can't hear you. Hey, Strike, what did the leopard say to the drop? I have no idea. I can't even hear you because your mic is becoming staticky. But I think you said he forgot. Keep the tip. I still didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Bobcat missed it. Uh, do you want to repeat it for him? Or... Alright, the, the joke is, <laughs> what did the uh, what did the leper say to the prostitute? And he told her, keep the tip. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I should, probably, I should probably put my mic a little bit closer. Uh, I am speaking a little bit more quietly, because it's like, fuck o'clock at night. <coughs> Let me go off myself, be right back. All right. <laughs> the first thing you said, a leopard? A leopard. L-E-P-E-R. -E -E do you know what a leopard uh, is? No, I do not. <laughs> okay. I'm kind of afraid. It basically means you have a disease where, like, parts of your body or skin decay and fall off. Oh. Yeah. So That's when he told the... He told the prostitute. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, oh, man. I get it. Yeah, read the damn mm. poem, Mama. For fuck's sake. I said a poem again. You missed it. Oh. Oh, okay. Here we go. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Roses are red, war is near. We, sh we would Why are all you Russian? We That's would all be Russian. safe what? if Harambe was here. That's not Russian. That's not Russian. That's Russian. That's Russian. 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 Oh, comrade. Oh, comrade. Like Come to the like Gulag. Like it is a happy Russian. place. It is, it is a happy place. Uh, where German, Russian, something of, around those lines. What are the Germans rushing? <laughs> the Germans are rushing into Russia with Blitzkrieg. They Krieg and then Blitz. Why do you say Blitzkrieg like it's an object or something? Blitzkrieg uh, was a revolutionary yeah, strategy. Blitzkrieg, like what? He said it as an, an action, not an object. Yeah, it, it is an action. Blitzkrieg is an action. Yeah. I'd call it a trait, but... Trait? Oh, all right. No, no, no. <laughs> it's definitely not a trait. It was a strategy. The German Blitzkrieg was when they rushed into Russia. Uh, Blitzkrieg with means fries. It means what? Fries? It means surprise. That's no. what Blitzkrieg uh, is. I mean, Blitzkrieg no, I... was an action that they took, though. Like, what they did was called Blitzkrieg. You know German uh. history? Do you know German history? So, so you're saying that they're calling it a surprise attack? Yes. Fair. I don't actually know German history, so you're probably right.
Alright, hold on. Have <coughs> people, though. But when you say the Blitzkrieg, it just sounds like, ah, yes, we hit them with the surprise. Uh, so, Blitzkrieg. Noun. A swift, sudden military offensive, usually by well, combined air and mobile oh, well. land forces. Two. An overwhelming all out attack with infantry, armor, and air forces, especially by surprise against an unprepared enemy. Three. A fast, sudden military offensive. Oh, we're both correct. Usually combining ground forces with air support. Also, Hottie Bobcat, you spelled Krunkenhaus wrong. There's an R in there. And I think another H. So Blitzkrieg is like a surprise attack, and it's also a military strategy. Yeah. So I was using it as the, the term the military strategy. Right? It was a Blitzkrieg. Hitler. How fucking rude. Build in the Panzerwerfer. I'll work here, Panzer. You'll, you'll, you'll do what? I said I'll work your pants. You will do no such thing. I'll take a whiff of them pants. Come here. Nah. No way, no how. That's what you think is gonna happen. You don't even know where I live, so. Geolocation, my friend. Geolocate me. I do live in Texas, but you would still wouldn't be able to find me. Gun. Texas is a big state. Did you know that the, the halfway point between Los Angeles and um, Houston, Texas is El Paso, Texas? You know that halfway between my butt cheeks is the fun zone? I did not need to know that. <laughs> I don't think Strike needed to know that either. I mean, I can know it, and I mean, now I do know it, so there's no changing it. Well, now you know that. Exactly. Llama, is your stream marked as mature? Uh, my stream, I believe, is marked mature. Alright, cool. Yes. Yeah, so you can technically say whatever you want. I mean, within Twitch. Yes, with, of course. in common sense. Yeah, use your brain. But yes. Oh, Hottie Bobcat has All a crystal right. ball. I've got a crystal ball and I see your fin. I can't read the chat and play at the same time, so... I think that whatever he wanted to do is working. And leisure, don't 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 tell people to use your brain because you know what? I have a poem for you. Oh, you do. What is your poem? Oaks are red, violets are blue. Your brain wrinkles are thinner than Peru. There you go. You're technically correct. Wait, Blue's brain wrinkles are thinner than what? White thin. Actually, did you know that brain wrinkles are there in order to help with concussions? It doesn't actually measure intelligence. That's completely wrong, and whoever told you that should go do the research, because... Did you know that koalas are some of the dumbest animals for their body weight? Yes, because they have almost no wrinkles in their brain. You literally just proved my point. You know that all koalas have gonorrhea? No, their their brain um, size is tiny compared to the rest of their body. No, but you don't understand. If you look up a picture of a koala brain, it literally looks like a chicken breast, okay? It is that smooth. Alright. Did you cook it like a chicken breast? Oh, wet koala. Interesting. I don't think we should. But llama, having wrinkles in your brain does make you smarter because it increases the surface area. Llama, thanks. Not that you have any. 
bottom. Oh, interesting. Okay, so surface area. Here, this is this is what I'm looking at, stream. Yes. Wrinkles give your brain more surface area, which allow it to store more information or something. I forget exactly. Yeah, see? It's maximum surface area. Oh. You are correct. Now look up what a koala brain looks like, and it literally just looks like chicken breast. See? Yeah, the koala brain <laughs> is very smooth. It's literally a chicken breast. That's funny. Wait, wait, okay, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta read the rest of this chat. I've got a crystal ball and I see your fin. If this challenge was about sucking D, I would win. So, I'm so clean. Your ass is, you're as dirty as your broomstick handle. Show me that D so I can blow it like a candle. I think that's just Honey Bobcat being kind of sus. Also, maybe you want to like get rid of that picture on stream because you no know, brain munching koala. Wow, that's a lot of blood. Oh, that's fine. <coughs> yeah, that's fine for the stream. No, I don't care about Twitch. It's just that I don't want to see it. And also, oh, okay. Honey Bobcat we probably shouldn't look up a wet koala. Oh, you're talking about like a really scary wet koala? I know what you're talking about. Alright, I think I'm gonna pass on looking up wet koala though. Yeah. Koalas with it's a very bad idea. idea. Looking up anything wet is just a bad idea. Look up wet llamas. Well, some things under wet is not so bad. There are some things that I like to make wet. Not like jumping in pools. Pools are fun. You're out of tires? Oh wait, I'm out, I'm tires. Oh, you're out? <coughs> you headed, <coughs> excuse me. Are you headed to bed? Tired? Ah, uh, okay. Mama, either play some Beat Saber or play the Perfect Tower 2. Do I, streaming things. I am doing streaming things. I'm communicating with my audience. My audience is the most important thing. People like Hottie Bobcat. So thank you, Hottie Bobcat, for hanging out. I'm glad that you're able to stop by. Hopefully next week, <coughs> Mini Potatoes will be feeling better. And you'll be able to play with uh, Strike Banus because I don't think you ended up getting to play with Strike Banus today. Um, and uh, yeah, actually, I haven't played with it was in quite a while. Well, not that long, like a couple of days. But yeah, he hasn't been on Beat Saber a whole lot lately. So how? Huh? Oh man, now I'm getting tired. How can I play with one cat? Play brain power. Play brain power? Did I play in an expert yeah. before? I think right, expert try. was a little too hard for you because that's like was a five note per second song. So All right. I'm gonna try it on hard. Let's see how this goes. I don't know, hard might be a little too easy for you, but I'm not sure. 
I need to like become a professional Beat Saber mapper or something and make like an assortment of maps to help movies. You should make some maps. That'd be pretty cool. I'd try and play them. Make me some so I can learn how to play this fucking game. <laughs> well, I just play vanilla and I've gotten this good. Yeah, no, that's what I do too. I'm just joking. I don't play often Oops. enough. I played every day Honestly, for like... Honestly, probably just commitment issue. I played every day for like a couple weeks or like not. a month or so. And it made me really tired. That worked. But what do you think it's supposed to be? Uh, well, I don't appreciate it making my job hard. And making me feel like shit. Because my job is also physical, so... There's that. Oh. I'm doing like 8 hours of that on top of trying to do that. Wait, uh, what do you what do, do eternity like again? I I just work at a, like a warehouse store. I do like forklift and like stocking and moving stuff and stacking stuff. Which you wouldn't yeah. think that driving forklift would be a physical job, but I'll tell you differently. But... I mean, yeah, because then you have to like get it. Well, kinda not really. I was gonna see you have to like get stuff onto and off of the forklift, but that's only for some things. Like if you just put that. uh... A lot Whatever of it it's called. Is, like a lot of the, it is the turning the wheel back and forth like 6,000 times a day. And then of course I also have to like do other stuff like moving stuff by hand and stocking stuff and helping people like, like, get yeah. shit into their cars. Like they're like, hey come pick up this fucking shit with your bare hands and like, okay, that's fucking good. And I'm like, hey you're 6 foot 4, can you reach this? And can you reach this? And can you reach that? And that? And like, fuck, I guess. Yeah. Having your job in being a Beat Saber player is oddly similar because you need to lose all uh, self-preservation that you ever had. You know? I mean, the reason I have a job is because of self-preservation. Yes. You know? But still, Beat Saber? As soon as you download Beat Saber on a VR headset, you unconsciously sign a contract that just says all my self-preservation just goes out the window. Apparently I have a greater mental fortitude to, uh, invisible contracts? That well, that's the whole thing. It's invisible, so you don't even know it was signed, but it, it was signed. Okay, so... What was uh, the consequence of breaking the contract? Uh, you don't get to play Beat Saber anymore. Mm -hmm. I still play it whatever I want, so it's obviously not that. Well, no, you just become garbage at the game. I mean, that was already the case, so what's the difference? It won't, no. The reward of doing a contract is that you get to become good at Beat Saber. But if you what don't sign the contract at all, then you always just stay at like the level where you can only play it like expert, you know? That's fine. <laughs> I don't need to be like the top ten pretty people playing fucking Beat Saber. Doesn't that sound epic? It's just like you walk into an interview and it's just like, oh hey, is there anything I should know about you? And then you're just like, yeah. I'm a professional Beat Saber player. Like Okay, you you say that in a job interview? And they put an X next to your name. That's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> you to like, what do you do? Oh, I play Skyrim professionally. That's gonna be an X for me, dog. Like, well, so it's yeah, all about it's the way like, that you oh, phrase no, it, Oh, no, I saw a though. Super Mario 64 speedrunner. Yeah, like, <laughs> they're gonna be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? It, 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 the, the way that you have to phrase it, though, is like uh, you say something more to the effect of um, through uh, practice and determination, I was able to achieve top ten in a nationally recognized video game, um, or or maybe even in a competition. Don't even mention that's a video game. 
uh, say like I was able to achieve top ten in a nationally recognized competition, uh, requiring. Okay, but they're immediately gonna ask you what it was. <laughs> and when you say Beat Saber, they're just you gonna be like, saber. okay, so you have really good reaction time, and that's all you're good for. And then you just have to answer with a very depressing yes. And they're like, uh, I don't think you're gonna be cut off this office job. Bye. You don't need reaction time, you need to work like a mindless drone. It's just like, no. For this job, you are too physically active. I mean, you need to, like, hold down the extra press a little bit, but... Like, it's called being overqualified. It means that you want more money than they're willing to give you. Or that you would have to get paid more money due to your qualifications than they want to pay someone for that position that you're trying to do. Why do we even want an office job in the first place? Just become, like, a streamer and then just, you know, be cracked at Beat Saber and... I don't know. Well, so being a streamer, like, isn't just super easy. It takes a long time to build up an audience oh, and to man. learn all of the Why skills. Why do you think I'm not a streamer yet? Yeah, so, like, it's, it's not just like, oh, just be a streamer and be able to, to make money off of it. Actually, I think that you would be in a pretty good position to be able to be a streamer, considering you're young and also very, very good at a game. Uh, all you would just have to work on is being able to be um, entertaining while you while you do it. But I, I think that you've pretty much got that down pat, actually. But other than that, and all of the other little technical things, you would probably be a pretty good uh, beat saber streamer. Yeah. But I'd also need money to like, I don't know, maybe make an avatar, because I don't want to do a dumb webcam like you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't- so, uh, two things. Um, one is you need a green screen and motion tracking, um, and that's pretty expensive, uh, because that's the full body expensive. motion trackers. Money. Um, but... If you do like what I'm doing, it's the it's the cheap way to to do it. Well, actually, no. You definitely don't need motion tracking. You just need an avatar and mods. And yeah, but the avatar wouldn't track wouldn't track your feet. That's that's the thing. It doesn't need to track your feet because I'm not walking. It's Beat Saber. <laughs> or, or like the rest of your body. I know I'm running with Marathon. The um, <laughs> the movement would just be uh, unnatural assault. I'm just standing labor. still. There doesn't have to be any movement down there. No, 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 no. I mean the movement of of your body, right? Your avatar's movement would uh, be uncanny. You could just not have an avatar or a webcam. A ton of people would be glad. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, but then. Oh I mean, there's people with thousands and thousands and thousands of viewers that don't use that. But then look yeah. at the people that do, and they have millions of viewers. That's not everything. I don't think anybody has a million viewers. And when Actually, I say millions of viewers, I'm talking about YouTube. But yeah. It's nobody's... Wait, has somebody gotten a million viewers on Twitch? I think somebody has. Viewers or like followers or subscribers? Because viewers are like the people watching at the same time. Yeah, yeah. most people don't don't really achieve a million viewers, but I, I'm pretty sure it's possible. Uh, if you were to go on to Twitch in the evening, you could probably find somebody with a million viewers. There's probably somebody out there with that. Yeah, I mean, like, not all the time, but definitely okay. I'm pretty sure that... Well, let's literally just look on Google. I don't understand what the point is of watching a person with a million viewers other than just like watching a video. It's about the oh, same Oh wow! Uh, in 2020, uh, the PlayStation 5 reveal on Twitch had 61 million live viewers. So it's definitely possible. Yeah, but that's not really a creator. I, I feel like the spirit of the question was that like a creator 
has a million views, not like a live event thing. Um, a lot of it is just, oh, um, there's this Fortnite guy, I, I've never heard of him, I don't know, I don't really care, but he had 2.4 million, I believe. Oh, okay. No. Oh, no! Like, the graphic or something, I don't know. Me neither. Kinda ironic how nobody here knows who the hell that is, but they had, like... They have a world record for the highest amount of... Because uh, I don't think anyone here watches, like, a really well, you'd think that, like, we'd at least know that he exists, since he had so many It was 2.4 million. With guy that did Fortnite. Uh, I think it was, like, from June... Uh, sometime in June in 2020, so kind of recently. Oh, pretty recent, yeah. It's weird. Honestly, if it had been, like, a while ago, that'd be understandable, but it's recent. Yeah, sure like a like, little less than a year ago, so I don't know sure why we don't know who that is. Well, you'd think that there would be some, like, media about it, but oh well. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, I don't really keep up with any of it either. I, I don't really try to keep up with it, it's just that I hear it randomly, and then I just can't really know about it now. So yeah. I guess nobody that, that I hang out with heard about it either. Which makes I think it just depends on what circles you hang out in. Like, literally what I just said. Alright, well, I'm trying to concentrate on two different things, so just just bear with me a what little bit. What are you talking about if you can't contribute to the conversation? Like, you're doing good right now. Like, you're actually living somehow. Yeah, I am. So focus on it. You're actually doing surprisingly good. Well, thank you for the compliment, you're the welcome. validation that I've always wanted. I already gave you validation today. Okay, I I'm just messing right with now. you. <laughs> just messing. Ungrateful. Man, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Easy mode, seriously. Seriously? <laughs> Wait, was I able to do normal? I can't remember. I think last time you did do easy, but I think you could do normal, maybe, if you try hard enough. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Fine. Let's do it. Let's do normal. <coughs> Eternity, are you watching this? Are you, are you ready to see What's happening? Llama's floodgate kick? Sure, I have switched over to Llama screen. I was performing mod duties in another mm. Got this, Llama. You do it. Up and down. Come on. Just ups sometimes and downs. Those... And sometimes sideways. Sometimes, but very rarely. Come on, 
Come on, Lolly, you got this. Work off all those Doritos you had like two weeks ago. I haven't had Doritos in forever. Well, then what's wrong with you? You should eat Doritos more. No! Oh, I it must. Helps the it helps the what? The depression? Yeah. No, Doritos makes you depressed. Exercise helps the depression. No, it just creates physical depression. And also. Why did you lose? Uh, it was all of those crazy, crazy notes. They aren't crazy, they're just blue and red. What did the notes ever do to you? Uh, they they <laughs> assaulted me very rapidly. Phasmophores. In an organized you. and patterned fashion. Oh, so mean. I'm mean. I'm getting assaulted by blue and red notes. Oh, what's They wouldn't have to assault you if you just didn't. Like. <laughs> no, I'm not. It will do. Seriously, Lom, it's not that hard. <laughs> I, can I can't laugh and play. play. <laughs> I can literally do this in my sleep. See, you're doing it. You're doing good. Never mind. <laughs> I like to imagine that every single time that I tell you that you're doing good, you I'd like I'd just jinx you and start missing notes. Wow, Don says hi to everybody except me. So mean. I don't know if he's ever heard your voice before. Hey, welcome back, Don. What's up, buddy? Well, didn't he, uh, hear it when I was still playing YouTube with you? Oh, probably. You weren't so salty about everything, he'd say hi to you. Salty about what? Not being said hi to you. <laughs> Alright, that logic is not very good, though. I, yeah, I, I cannot do this. Because he didn't do it. I got salty after he didn't say hi. Yeah, your blood no. is kind of, kind of funky. Non-existent? I'm just saying bullshit? Yeah, that's about it. No, well, I can't. You do. Llama, it's just up and downs. Is it, yeah, it's just, just up and downs. There we go. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> What is there for you to discriminate about me? I don't even know if you could discriminate me if you tried, because I'm actually kind of similar to Wama, in a sense. Discriminate by age, don't worry. Are you, uh, are you a demigod like me? Or an actual god? I'm an actual god. Are you a demigod? I got a need. I'm a, I'm an, I'm a Lovecraftian god. Have you not seen my Discord? Alright, wait, I'm I've seen, Lovecraft. I've seen it, One but... One of the other gods. <coughs> I actually am not very familiar with, uh, the Lovecraftian. Why does um, nobody know anything about Cthulhu lore? Absolutely. It's not something that is is uh, really taught, I would say. And it's not really in uh, pop culture either, I don't think, too much. But if you have like a good guide on uh, Cthulhu, Cthulhu lore, Cthulian. Cthulhu, uh, I'd be more than happy to to read into it. 
me eat. You don't have to let. I really don't care if you know anything about it. It's actually no, like, I mean, not really researched, so there isn't a whole lot of knowledge about it. But anyways, what do you want me to say in Malayan or Cthulian? Wait, you can speak Cthulian? Cthulian, and I can type it. You, you, it's literally impossible to speak, but you can type it. Okay, uh, then say, uh, Lama is the god king in Cthulian. I don't know if my message will, search, will uh, show up, but I put it in the, uh... Oh yeah, it did show up, finally. Mama, yes. Are, uh, you literally can't say it, so I don't know why you're trying. <laughs> oh, I think that my controllers are dying. Yep. Alright, oh. so... I'm going to have to end the stream because one of my controllers just died, and I imagine that the other one is. Uh, Why don't you play a computer game? I don't know, maybe like The Perfect Tower too. Uh, so I could play a computer game, but so I played a little bit of The Perfect Tower, um, and I don't know. I didn't think it was a very entertaining game to play. Maybe because you just didn't get into it, right? Maybe yeah. not. I have played a good number of idle games. How? Like, it's, it's not an idle game, it's an incremental game. I mean, it's pretty idle, though. Oh. Sound is gonna die. Alright, well, I'm gonna head off. You guys have a good night. Ease. Chargers. Oh. All right, so, uh, Llama, you're getting off. So, oh, uh, it was using the wrong off. microphone. There we go. Now, can you guys hear me? Uh, <coughs> I can hear you on Discord. Okay. Awesome. Uh, and my mic is going through there, so that's good. Maybe I should play a computer game. Uh, Don Jovi, do you want to play some some Hots? Are you down for a couple games of Hots? Why are you looking pretty sweaty there? I I am a little bit sweaty. Good observation skills. For all that not strenuous arm work you did. <laughs> yeah, after uh, after putting up a fence. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, the fence isn't up yet. Uh, we're gonna have to work on it more on Sunday. I have to work tomorrow, so I'm not gonna be able to work on it. I have more not being productive to do tomorrow, so that'll be fun. Productive uh, is subjective, I think, because there's certain things that some would consider productive, <coughs> excuse me, and things that other people would not consider productive, and they'd be the same thing. And my idea of what is productive and what isn't productive has changed over time. But if Don Jovi's not there and he doesn't want to play HOTS, uh, then what I'm probably actually going to play is Risk of Rain. I'm going to play Risk of Rain? Wait, the first one or the second one? Uh, two. Risk of Rain 2. Actually, I have Risk of Rain 2, but my PC is so garbage that I can't even run it. So that's Oof. a problem. 
That is a problem. I don't even know why. Like, I have, like, my CPU, it shouldn't be that limited. Actually, I might try. Maybe we can play multiplayer or something. Yeah, sure, if you want to. Boot it up. <coughs> Excuse me. And we also probably have to, uh... Oh, okay. No problem, Don Jovi. No problem. Yeah, it's only like two gigabytes, so. Hmm. Yeah, try and see if you can run it. Uh, I'm gonna be resetting the stream yeah, here really quick. Awesome. So, is this your first time playing Risk of Rain 2? Uh, not my first time playing. I've only played like six or seven runs. <laughs> Most of that was with a friend. So I'm not super experienced. Yeah, I've also watched a couple of YouTube videos on it. Well, I don't know, I like the game, but you know, it, it costs money. So I was always kind of skeptical if I should buy it or not. Uh huh. But, uh, yeah. Um, 